Hello? 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 Wow. Uh, I'm not late. You're late. I don't know what you're talking about, Dad. Uh, sorry, son. I was out getting milk. Hello? Hello? Ah, oh, look, Charlie. It's a magically appeared down, Charlie. Wow. <laughs> what I meant to say was, chat. What I meant to say was, my dudes, what's going on? What's happening today, Chad? How we doing? Said the update. That's why he's late. I mean, Griffey. Uh, yeah, totally. Yep, that's exactly what happened. It's my first time catching the stream. Australian over here. When brutal, when are we updating Gem Shop to your list? Yo, brutal. What's going on, man? Another, another, another Aussie added to the list. Yo, uh, I think I think we're not gonna do the gem shop tier list until like World Six. World Six is probably gonna be when we're actually gonna do the next uh, tier list for limited time shop. Or the gem shop tier list, I should say. What's going on, chat? How we doing today? Yo, yo, yo. What's happening? You guys ready for today? You guys ready for the big? The big, big day, dude. The tier list. The list that has everybody going to be hating each other by the end of it. Imagine upgrading Yellow Cauldron. Yeah, true, dude. I can already hear the screams. I, I feel like it's going to be civil. I feel like it's going to be civil. Finally got Diamond Chef. Feels appropriate. Hell yeah, man. No shot? Bro, are you sure about that? Yo, Lena. What's going on? What's happening? Chat, defend the raid. Defend the raid, chat. We think we're gonna... We think we're gonna let us... Let, let, let this raid come in and take on over? I don't think so. Hey, what's happening? What's going on? Welcome on in. How was the stream to Lena? In less than two weeks, I'm going to disappear again. All right, that's fine. That's, Hi, Griffey. I'm here to debate you today on the Yellow Cauldron. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I mean, yeah, let's let's go for a little debate. Stream was awesome. Made partner on Streamlutes. Nice. Huge. Love to hear it. Twitch partner next. Let's get it. <sighs> Moving on up. Eidolon, has Eidolon been good to you? Has, how's, how's the guild going, by the way? I've, I've been seeing actually a decent amount of Lena Legends around. Yo, what's up, Nick? What's happening? Maestro debates, I love them, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guild's getting pretty big. What's the size so far? A feel for 4K Nellos, time to actually craft tab 5. And troll armor after one-shotting tremors. Ooh, look at you, dude. Ooh, 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 look at you. Yeah, 100K kills to pass... Coco Tunnel, dude. Hey, well, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, dude. Couldn't figure out why it took so long to get 1 billion Goblin Ears, and then I realized I had Midas on. Well, there you go. 40 people and level 24. Killing it, dude. Killing it. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but a World 4 Plebeian with one elite class currently having all my lower level characters push through World 3 for levels, dude. I mean, you'll get it, bro. Team, team Little, what? what? Huh? What, what? Why is that a hashtag? Misclicked on 105 ladles, crying right now? Yo, rip, dude. Rip. Won't be here for long, so I miss the tier list unless I wake up during the night. No surprise. That I'm just here for the gamba. Hell yeah, dude. LA will officially be max guild tomorrow. Ooh. Heck yeah. LA is another max guild. Let's get it, dude. Sorry, that's my hashtag. All right, that's okay. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Is Nebula Killer worth it? Wait, chat. What's Nebula Killer? Do we remember what Nebula Killer is? I I don't. Is that is that the card set? Is that the card set for crit chance? 
The ring? Oh, 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 the ring, the 45% or the 30% increase to kills. Yes, absolutely. God, the World War kill ring is amazing. Oh, God, it's so good, dude. Uh, absolutely. Yes. We dip it out today, take jump hunt. Oh, yeah, that sounds good, Vaughn. Is it good? Yeah, it's insane. You gotta, you gotta realize this too, chat. Is the World 4 ring works not only for the V-Man speedrun, but for the rift. Yeah, that's the one thing you gotta realize, is it's for the rift as well, because the rift is considered part of World 4. So it is actually way more busted than you think it is. So the others are trash? No, because it's for the V-Man speedrun. V-Man speedrun makes it all worth it. And let's be honest, if you're farming, if you're out here farming, uh, you know, 1 billion skills or 1 billion skulls for the Eclipse, oh, so it's worth it to buy the Nebula one? 100% compared to all of them, definitely the Nebula one. Rift actually counts as World 4 Bob? Sure does, Purifier. Finally got pancakes to cook, let's go, hell yeah, dude. Finally didn't want to buy. Did a pirate hat and Bob response, nice. Limited to shop is juicy, oh he is, dude. First time you stream, been a fan of YouTube, it's been such a huge help. I'm the one you spotted a few days ago with the dudes. Oh, yeah, what's up? What's up, Zeus? Yo, what's up, Yos? Oh, yeah, but not a priority. I mean, if you don't have the gems for it, it's not like you're going to lose anything by not doing it. The only thing that you're going to lose is, like, minus one slab kind of deal. Not that worth. It's possible at 60 portals without ring. I mean, anything's possible to get anything without gem shop items. Let's, let's be honest here. You could, lit you could literally get anything in the game without spending money or using gems. It's just that easy. Thought it was, but was it sure? That's crazy. It really helps once you start getting to like the higher, like once you start getting to like riff like 50 or riff like 45 and shit, the riff, the riff ring, I mean the world four ring really comes in clutch. Wait, so does it work on war, uh, wormhole or golden orbs with doing rift? No, none of that works. So, so uh, the orb and the, the wormhole do not get affected by kill per kill, multi kill, extra kills none of that none of that affects it or it's the same with the siege breaker flag uh with the plenderous mobs good play terraria calamity yo rip dude dancing on this happy hour run with two minutes to go hell yeah warp everywhere to decent portal now i need to tactically switch rings too much oh bro oh dude just wait can't wait for the update dude expeditions dude i'm so excited world 3 printer or what about world 3 printer Ring also seems to come back to rotation relatively often. Yes, it really does. What day do you do IE reviews? I kind of... I'm taking a break from IE reviews at the moment. Uh, I'm kind of doing it as a, like a giveaway setting kind of deal. How far can you get with uh, $10,000 in Eilon asking for a friend? $10,000? If you're thinking, if you're thinking like, if you're asking can Eidolon get, can $10,000 in Eidolon catch up to me? No, it can't. But, I mean, it could, it could get you boosted, for sure. It could definitely, but, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, this game takes more of skill than wallet. It's more skill than wallet at this point. Because it's not a race. It's a marathon, right? So, it doesn't matter how much money you throw at the game, it will always, always, always be longer. Yeah, the time walls are there. Yeah, there's, there's just some, some ways you can't skip the time walls because alchemy. You can't really skip alchemy. So the fact that you can't hyper, the fact that you can't hyper skip alchemy is, is one of the main reasons. Yeah, sure, money shortens that time span, but you know what also shortens that time span, FIP? Knowledge. If you, if you, have, if you have the knowledge, you could skip way faster than somebody throwing money at the game. Cannot cheat through a marathon, but the race, though? Yeah, true. Can it test the skill wallet ratio, especially since candies are limited? Absolutely. Hey, yo, I take it you found an editor then? Oh, yeah, what's up, Nuke? Uh, yeah, I think, I, I think I've gone through most of them, yeah. I will, uh, yeah. Wait, are you, wait. Th that's the DM Discord, eh, there, Nuke? I'm using my knowledge to get both dude. Yeah, to get dude, dude. That's why I do both. Plus, skipping through, you'll miss so much. There's so many things to learn in here. Yeah, it, it, it's, the it's the time, it's the time, it's the time gates, right? 
Money can't buy coins. You need to upgrade them for more stuff. And knowing is half the battle. 40% knowledge, 50% work, and 10% money. Yeah, I, I actually, I, you know, to be honest with you, I could, I would say, I would argue that it's 60% knowledge, 40% work, 10% money. I would, I would hard argue that it takes more knowledge than work because if you have the knowledge, you're technically doing less work. Proof of that ex extreme is dangerously funny. Spending 70k hours is still being in world one. But that's the difference. It's, it's theoretically impossible to buy that many 72 hour time candies because you can't. You would be, you'd be playing the game for over, like over at least two years if you ever, and then buying candies out every day and having crazy RNG to even get close to that amount of 72 hour time candies. And even then, you probably wouldn't. So, I mean, further proves the point. Exactly. $10 dono for IE review when you can, dude? No, 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 no. Rock, why is super chatting, dude? Oh, hey, Ra. Thanks for the super chat, dude. Yeah, that's still a thing. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Jeff Bezos, that was the dumbest fucking thing to implement. Fucking hype chat, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I forgot that. Forgot the ten percent gamba. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah the Joe's and username. That's right. Because I could super chat for the stale, co bro. Why you call my content stale, dude? I'm, how dare you? How dare you, man? Stop calling my content stale. We're about to do some great content today, and you're calling my shit stale. Or sorry, it's called a hype chat. Sorry, sorry, it's called hype chat. See, it's different. It's name different, so there's no copyright infringement. There's already bits? Yeah, I know. And now, now it'll show up at the top of the screen. Try to legit read every chat in here. So many streamers just scan and barely respond. Yeah, dude, that's that's a big true, bro. That's a huge true. I, I, I honestly have a hard time watching content creators when they don't fucking read shit. It drives me nuts. It's just like, streamer, notice me, senpai. Oh, yeah, Kabir, uh, chat. Kabir is posting a uh, new short. Go click that. Go watch that YouTube short. Click the like, maybe leave a comment, help it feed into the algorithm. Go do that shit, dude. Kabir's my short sky, so don't worry. The link is trustworthy, okay? What is this YouTube shit? My Twitch? It's different. It's a hype chat. Super chats didn't know this was YouTube. Just over here copying YouTube. Yeah, absolutely. What about the YouTubers get a thousand of each time candy? Well, that's that's because they get it entered into their inventory. Podcast Griffey's best content. A disrespect BS. Do I increase damage on DK? I have 28 million uh, damage. And I still can't kill Catacrook in normal work because he heals too fast. So I deal damage. Please help. Well, you need to. Uh, well, first off, you need to work on your cooking. And then you also need to work on unlocking uh, power of try one, try two, and try three. Mostly try one for the uh, orange bubble damage. Uh, that's going to be a huge thing. Crystal Stake crystal is also huge. Specific talents is also going to be massive, like refinery rank one. Short is about the 16 times on the wheel yesterday. Yep. Did you survive the wheel yesterday? Sure did. Normally advise not clicking my link in a stream until it's verified. They are the real streamer. All right, chat. How do you want, to, how do you want me to validate that I'm the real streamer? Here. I have a perfect idea. AI generate? Don't make fun of my Crocs! Show anime hair? I'll be the hat in game, a Croc hat? Here, 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 here. Anime hair? There you go, chat. There you go. There you go. Boom. Pre-recorded. Gonna need your credit card number on the three on the back for cons confirmation. Yeah, Drew. Feel so dumb. I just peeped. You have a green screen. What do you thought? Wait. Wait. Zeus, you thought this wasn't a green screen? Bro, you know, you know when the green screen's too good that you finally put two and two together to realize that it that it is a green screen? That will settle it. It's the best thing to eat at quality foods, G. They're fucking salad bar, dude. Their salad bar is awesome. To be fair, your background's cool AF. Yeah, thanks, man. 
Gotta do some stuff back to the lurk. All right, sounds good. Yo, what's up? Confirmed. All right. Well, like, to be fair, okay. It's a tie between salad and Chinese. I'll accept it. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's either the salad bar or the Chinese food, dude. Both of them are just so good. I noticed when I saw the dancer characters, I thought you were just a major Eilon. It's clean at AF, dude. Hey, actually, Zeus, you want to you know, know a cool, cool thing? If it wasn't for the IBA, Slash Dance would have never been in the game. So you're welcome. We're the ones that pushed for it. We're the ones that got it. Every time, every time Lava went live, we bombarded him with Slash Dance when until he put it into the game. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir, that was us. I got blurry animated painter room too. I'm a real boy, hell yeah. Are you making the shiny critters jealous? You know I am, dude. You know I am. Did you finish up? Uh, winter last night, I need 9,000 more GP, and then I'm done. So worth it to make my mages use upgrade stones, put army and uh, barbarians for accuracy? Yes, if you need it. If you need it, go for it. You're talking to Jap, he's alright? Yeah, he's yeah, fine. I would assume so, yeah. Yo, what's up, Guitar Ninja? Backflip when? I don't do backflips, dude. Can you do a slash dance in real life? No. No, I can't. Are you friends with Lava? I wouldn't say friends. I would say, like, acquaintances. G7 guild for backlog when? Like, actually. Actually. No, no joke. Activate my character's level 300. What game should I play? Uh, original RuneScape. If you push for dance, maybe he can aim for a Griffey army emote? Well, considering we already have a talent named after us, aka the DK talent, Biddy Liddy, um, you know, uh, do we really need, do we really need more chat? We really need more? Let's be honest, we got, we got, we got, we got a dancing emote and a talent. So, I mean, yes? I mean, uh, G, G has coffee with Thomas with Lab every morning, yeah. Wait, don't gaslight me. I never saw Lava or watched his stream. He could be. I, I mean, I mean, Lava's been in here before. So, I mean, it's not... Actually, he was in here yesterday. So, I mean, it's not like it's... Griffin Boy, what's the best source for second stat? The one for accuracy? The best second source? Well, I mean, that usually you're going to get most of that from armor or your first alchemy bubble. Guild should remain in the game? Absolutely. We need a seventh guild. We might need a seventh guild. Trophy of the best guild, dude. We need V-Man's talent to be named after us, dude. We need a cat made NPC because we all know V-Man is the true MC, dude. Hope for an itty bitty island. Itty bitty island would be kind of sick. I think I had a dream where this there was an update said IBA reference included or some shit, dude. I feel like I feel like this I feel like this bet. No, they're saying you were lava. Uh it's because it's because they like to uh so so chat likes to be a bunch of tinfoil hat. Uh, chatters, they uh, they just they just want to feel like I am lava because they they say they never see me and lava at the same time when we all know that's not true. Real question is why would I be streaming on this channel when I could be streaming on the lava flame channel? Wouldn't that make more sense? Yep, that's my lava. Okay, dude, rename game to Griffy Biddy Army Mo Army on, dude. Yeah, Drew. Why do you still hide that you're lava? I'm not lava. Also, I miss these old emojis, dude. Yes, I do. I do indeed. Do the seventh guild if you're looking. Okay, I'll keep it in mind, but I mean, I say that as a joke. But the tenth guild, maybe it, it, emo bitty army, good celebration. That's the secret. That's why Lava would say, "Chat, let's be honest. If I was Lava, okay, if I was Lava, don't you think I would have fixed the stuff that you guys have asked to fix? Like, let's be real here." Don't you, don't you think that I would, you know, since I play the game a lot more, wouldn't I be able to make the updates with the proper bug fixes? Cope? No, Lava, complete, so completely different. Well, I mean, I mean, you, it, it, that's like saying, that's like saying a VTuber, bro, it's just a voice changer. You can change any voice. You'd make it worse? What do you mean? It's so obvious then? We all know Lava doesn't hear the player pleads, so why would you? You're a Lava after- Bro, you guys are- No, you wouldn't. Your Lava's personality fixes nothing. To sell the image of not being a dev, dude? Yeah, bro, imagine- Imagine playing the ultimate long con. Imagine making Eidolon, but at the same time, using a alt account to stream and make content every week. Bro, that would- 
Yeah, what's up, MF? What's up, MF1? That's uh, that's the that's the true long con. All right, that's that's talk about no sleep. Yeah, actually, everyone would be everything would be gamba if G is lava. No, I know it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. Just ninety percent. Okay. Don't you do I your review? Everybody thinks you'll do updates, dude. Bro, bro, why you gotta ro why you got why you gotta roast me like that, dude? Come on, man. Streams stream time coincidence. If I was lava, I'd be better. Talk about this giga brain, dude. Why imagine it's reality? You no, know? I'm a little disappointed when Lava got into the game being told it was a stand up dev and they pulls pay to win stuff with pets, even though I lucked out, feel bad for majority of the play base. I don't. I really don't. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Majority of the player base was toxic as fuck. And not only that, there's, there was already tons of gacha mechanics in the game. So, I mean... I and also, developer has to make money, dude. You, you, bro, you, you know, just take, just, take, just, take this into, just take this into perspective, okay? He has no ads, and it's a free-to-play game, so there's no box price. Now, you see it all over the place. It's on Steam. It's on Android. It's on Apple. So that means you have to pay for servers. Not only that, he does a shit ton of advertising. So you know how much money that costs for advertising. You gotta realize that he probably spends more money in a month than we make in a year. Alright? Just worth in just keeping this game running. Okay? So let, let's be honest here. If he's going to put another gotcha mechanic, even though we already have gotcha for chips, and we also have gotcha for other stuff, hey, you know, you got to sometimes you got to do what you got to do, dude. It's better than putting a DLC paywall behind each world, or putting a uh, you know putting a um, ads in the game. You know. A man's gotta eat, dude. Got into it like a month before he dropped, so I'm unaware of the toxicity. Three months. 3k in two months, I'm ashamed, dude. <laughs> 300 tries to get one bubble. Those are a lot of fair points. Thanks for all that out. Yeah, dude, it just is what it is. Jeepin' and uh, Lavis is getting his Elders off stream. Tired of getting not getting Elders, giving something no one watching, dude. Everyone got seen Idol on ad recently? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the last one was like, the biggest one was Dragoon. No such thing as enough IB, enough of the IBA in the game? Yeah, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. And without companions, people reach real and real endgame content. Yeah, true. I mean, and at the same time, it's just like you could you could play the game completely without paying any money. You don't need to pay. Maybe, arguably, maybe five bucks. Okay. Arguably, I would say that this game has a five dollar five dollar price tag and that's for auto loot that's for auto loot auto loot auto loot is almost uh almost pretty much necessary oh chat you know what i noticed i, I it dawned on me the other day okay i know why eidolon's so addicting because it's like playing a grindy game like runescape with a built-in bot it's literal. It's literally like playing a game that's super, super grindy that fix gets your fix, but it's it's like you're running a bot anyways because you can just press auto mode. So instead of having to do all the hassle and try to get a bot to run it, you can you can literally just you can literally just press auto. So it, it's the joying of the game. Lava did okay. I swear to God, if I check in the Discord post and he posted something, you're lying to me. Oh shit, chat. Oh shit. Hold up. Wait a minute, Wombo Combo! You put my two cents in, slightest, but sometimes your guides are a bit difficult to follow and a new player again, this is no way Chris, just... Honestly, Zeus, hey, that's totally fine. Understandably, I've tried to water it down as much as I can, but unfortunately, when it comes to the guides, I can only water down so much without not giving the full information. So let's take a look here, chat. Let's take a look here. Halfway there, living on a prayer. Recycle garbage for stamps and other items. Wait, what does that even mean? What? Huh? Recycle garbage for stamps?
Oh, oh, recycle garbage for stamps and other items. Oh my god, we have another stamp gamba? Oh, Jesus. Oh god, no. It's Plinko 2.0. Oh, come on! There's too much to go without making the vids too long? Yeah. I mean, comparably, Zeus, I feel like my guides are, like, one of the- one of the easiest digestible ones out of all the content creators. Oh, chat, I can't wait to roll a plus one of pulling a fucking a pop plastic out of- out of a- out of a turtle's mouth. Stamps, I don't get it. Okay, so you're gonna be able to recycle garbage because because we're gonna be good Samaritans and they will give us a low chance for stamps. And the stamps are gonna be used for upgrades and elemental sorcerer damage. No, I, like I said, I was trying to be a dick. No, dude, you're just, you're not being a dick. You're just saying your opinion, bro. What the fuck? Nothing wrong with that, dude. Nothing, nothing wrong with that, bro. I ain't taking no offense to it. It's all good, Jed. All good, my dude. G stream going to be the first hour just chatting, second, third hour Gamba, true and real. Do we finally have attainable build speed stamp? I'm hype with the islands, dude. The islands seem like they're looking like they're pretty good. I just realized we have the Ram Apocalypse up, dude. We need to we need to turn that off, Chet. We need to turn off the Rams. He's hiding something. Chat, chat, enhance, enhance. What does it say? What does it say? Chat, what does it say? Just two in. I thought this was live and not a screenshot from Discord. Sharpen it. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 Filters. Enhance. No, it's just turning into a blob. Hmm. Hmm. What does that say, chat? Hmm. It looks like it's Braille. Hmm. Unfortunate. Yeah, well. I have to feel the monitor to read it. Is there any tool that I could do it to like... Can I unblur shit? How does one unblur it? Idle on blind mode. Luris ice pium filler. Enhance. Anti-alias. Ah, oh, it's still not enough. No, he... he yeah, he, he probably just put some gibbers. New blobby light, dude. Second world look like unfound to me. Yeah, unfortunate chat. Wait, chat. Fight G mobs? Wait a minute. Whoa, bro. Are we fighting G mobs? No, I'm just kidding, chat. Let's be real here. That's not that's not it's it's probably giant mobs. It's it's pro or fight garbage mobs. Oh oh chat, it could be fight garbage mobs for trash drops. For for increased trash drops per set. That fight Griffy mobs. Griffy finally made it. Are you chat? Are you calling me trash? Are you calling me garbage? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're is that what you said? Call me garbage? Yes. Fight green gem mobs for? Probably. Now trash is probably the only thing that'll be on the first island. Trash island equals Canada confirmed. I have you know we have lots of trees, okay? Crash island. Yo, we gonna we gonna jump on some TNT and some nitro box, bro? Nah, you just have trash drops, Drew. This is this is idle on merch. No, this is this is actually idle on merch. Crash Bandicoot? No, you are garbage, dude. Yeah, bro. Crash Bandicoot though. Looks like Islands might be some sort of account catch up system. Eh, not really. <clears throat> Gonna be honest with you, probably not. Crystal Island where you fight golden mobs like a <clears throat> like an island with increased crystal chance, maybe? That'd be cool. Imagine having- Imagine islands are the new farming zones. Oh, that would be sick. That would be so sick, dude. Just imagine for a second. 
Is the first word shop? No, probably not. Wait, it's, wait, it's... Wait, oh, wait. Trash Island, Rando Island, Crystal Island? Yo, chat. Maybe, maybe we finally get to play a Subway Surfer minigame, dude. Crap Island? Is this thing not to be active on? Uh, incorrect, Dark. Incorrect, actually. Actually, that's not true. What he actually said was traveling to the island is an idle activity, but doing the weird gimmicks on each island is an active, active thing. So, it's a little bit of both. Actually. Actually. That's kind of cool, chat. I'm excited. I'm excited, dude. Three out of six islands done. Look at that, dude. Each island has all mobs from each world without having to go through portals and fireball mobs in one area drops alongside world six. I would assume he would do some new mobs. If, if he's only three out of six islands done, if he's only out of three out of six, that lets me know hands down that he's making new assets. Because that's what takes him the longest is, is making the assets. Third island is seven plus characters names. My, oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, you're good, dude. Bejeweled. Respect my authority. Actually, exactly. Giant crystal mobs no longer a meme. There's no, dude. There's no way there's gonna be giant crystal mobs. I'd be down for some trash Tetris. Yo, let's get it, dude. Do you vape a lot? That's not a vape. It's a copium tank. You should, you should know this by now. Yo, Little Oz 2. Coming in with the primer, dude. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, dude. Oh, yeah, travel isn't a time-taking activity, but there is farming. Yes, add rename mechanic, spam keys on, lack creativity. I mean, I hope there's going to be a rename soon. I really, really appreciate it if there was a rename tickets. I did not a lot of this topic. No, you're good, bro. You're good. It's, it's copium, dude. <laughs> it's copium. Chad, don't worry about it. It's just copium. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. We need a way to repick a base class. Like, you're, wait, you're talking about you're talking about like basically like deleting a character, eh? So like you delete the character and then you start back from level one. Maybe maybe character deletion wouldn't be a bad idea, but I could see people abusing it. Now hear me out, okay? Hear me out, all right? Why that would be an issue. If you have a juice enough account and you delete a character, there are specific quests in the game and specific bubbles in the game that you could abuse to get insane amounts of good stuff. Like, for instance, I'm pretty sure there's a quest that drops a 72-hour time candy. There's also quests that drop bottle wins. There's quests that drop divinity pearls. There's quests that drop uh, fertilizer. There's quests that drop ladles, eggs, you know, and uh, lots of time candy. There's tons of time candy. Yeah, it's Yonder Green Quest from World 3. Yeah, exactly. Gills of Ilon being down, can we still change our active characters if we're still on the grid? Uh, Vaughn, I would just avoid doing so. Just for now. Just until, just until we get, we, we have, we have a idea uh, coming into fruition. It's just worked on right now. But we will have a quote unquote Guilds of Eidolon for us specifically. It's just gonna, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. So just don't change it just yet. But, but hopefully soon. Is there a bit difference between what I use my hat premifier on? Nope. Nope. It's all the same. Got to beg level for a character rename. Yeah, that would help. Well, get to level 50 on one hour on every skill and whatnot. Get tons of benefits from bubble. Redo it over. Yeah, exactly. You reset mob kills per death note. Yeah, I mean, but that's, that's a small thing. Quest tied to a character slot, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Quest could be locked to character slot, not character, but yeah, some care would need to have. Yeah, it, it would be easily, uh, easily done. Maybe lock the quest to the character slot. Yeah, yeah, probably. Balloons too. That's an easy fix. Limit each character slot to one or two deletions. Yeah, all right. But but at moments if you nah, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say limit to the deletions. If you're going to be able to delete, don't limit the deletions because here's the thing. Uh with this game, the meta changes. Ever pretty much every world, the meta changes. You know, like World 4, it was two siege breakers. Now world uh, now now in a uh, world uh world uh, World 5, it's uh, two elemental sorcerers instead of two siege breakers. So it, it kind of depends on, you know, what, what the uh, 
where it's going to be. I mean, if you could delete a character once per week, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, there's quests that drop 72-hour time candies. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Both Trans Island... Trash Island and Rando Island are written, so third island name looks seven letters long, so it starts with CR, CF, or CP. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to see, dude. Mad Man deletes a World 5 character to start World 1 for gems. I mean, considering how fast you can get your character back to World 5 is, like, really, really easy. If, if, you're, if you're at that point where you're contemplating deleting a character to get more, more juice, it's super, super fast. Take my booba, my guild man, until the green light. Sounds good, dude. Imagine Wednesday wheel when delaying char deleting characters is an option. Dude, I'd cry. Lands on Maestro, dude. Bro, come on. Minecraft minigame just ends up outspeeding you. Did Lava make the minigame harder? No. Nope. No, you shouldn't. What if the one of the new elite classes had a talent that lets you choose talents from another elite class? Oh, you're talking about like Phantom from Maple Story to get like holy symbols and shit? Yeah, okay. Really might drop new patch this week. It's next week, Fanner. They uh he he basically said there's no way in chances this week. Four islands for now or three. Uh he he said he wanted to do six. Six uh, six islands is what he wants. Have you got easy to refer to pictures for the tier list you've done so far for the quick reference? Have you got easy to refer to pictures of the tier list you have done so far for the quick for a quick reference? Wait, what do you mean? Loss? To get 40 bucks ready, make a new boobo, book tentacle eye aura, and go burr. Yeah, true. That's actually really true. That's actually, Purifier's on the money with that one. You could easily get that done. Maestro Delete would be a bonus, bonus, bonus wheel, and the bonus, bonus wheel. Six islands for six worlds? Yeah, yeah, basically. It's supposed to be six islands. So islands are for the next week? Yes, we should have expeditions for next week. Weekly arcade shop reset? Yeah, let's go, dude. Yo, what's up, Fire Monstrous? If you go grab Pickle, beer back later, sounds good. Could have uh, stone upgrade resets. The stones that consume slots would fail. Uh, some of them, yeah, like the mystery stones, they're used for stamps. Uh, the white ones are used for World 2 uh, quest completions. And, like, the white ones that you get from, like, Doot and shit. Uh, and uh, the newest ones, the cow crook, I mean, might as well stockpile them anyways because you're going to use them on tools once you start getting enough resources. Island will surely be there till wait till World Six. Yeah, I, I'm I'm kind of thinking islands are kind of like your your pre content. You know what I mean, like the pre content before World Six. So, I mean that it, it is on. The, so to be fair, chat, it, if we take a look here, okay. Th this is this is what we're looking at, chat. This this is what we're looking at, okay. So, we have island expeditions. And then he's going to be working on more World 4 to World 5 NPCs, secrets, and completion trophies. And hopefully that means he's going to fix the uh, four NPCs. Have a good stream? Yeah, sounds good, dude. Have a good one, Zeus. And then we have in the Spirited Valley coming next after that. Wait, chat. Who said this is a jungle temple? Okay, like real talk. Somebody yesterday said this looks like a jungle temple. Are they? I'm sorry, but are you blind? This is not, this is, this is not a, this is not a jungle temple. Not even close. It does. It's not even made out of wood. Moss on rock. Yeah, when you see a moss on rock, oh yeah, chat. That's a that's a jungle temple. It's made of vines. That's not vines. Jungle temples are stone. Prima fire delete miscellaneous. Yeah, stones and grass. Jungle temple. More of a spiritual thing or bamboo, dude. The issue of gold trick coin drop quest, an unknown thing. No, there's no issue with it. You just can't auto loot it. Rocks and moss, yeah, definitely a jungle. You know, you know what, you know what, Chet? I, I'm here's what I think this is gonna be, okay? Here's what I'm gonna think. All right, here, here, here's what I'm thinking here, okay? I'm thinking that Spirited Valley is going to be a life and death place. So, like the afterlife. Spirit of Valley is going to be the afterlife. Okay. Call me crazy. So we're going to see, and since it's got like bamboo and stuff, we're going to probably see like stuff like Onis. And we're going to see like weird ass ghost. You know what I'm saying? Shadowlands? No, not Shadowlands. Stormy World or something like that's in the sky. Yeah. So I mean, we could have like, you know, like flying things like a Tengu mask. Yeah, exactly. 
Did they change Bubo? My positive damage isn't a, st a static tick value anymore. It's wildly swapped values now. No, it shouldn't be changed at all. Full Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, we'll probably have a couple. I get it, dude. If Lava does not make a Kung Fu Panda reference, I'm quitting the game. Okay, I better see Poe in there as the quest NPC. All right. Is Prima Fire delete misc? What does that mean? What, is, what does Prima Fire delete misc mean? Are you talking about, are you talking about for the hat that you put it on? It delete, it deletes everything. It gives it its own stats. It completely takes it out. Yeah, it takes all the stats you have on that one hat and then you primify it and it gives it its own stats for the prima, premium stats. You'd already have plain forest, desert, ice world, space, lava zone is sort of sky zone. So it could be, uh, that's what I'm thinking. Poe is actually the world six boss. Your characters become so powerful. The ascend dude. Bro, hey man, if there's ascension, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against it. I'm obsessed with Kung Fu Panda. Can't wait to see the fourth one next year, dude. Bro, the Kung Fu Panda. Dude, the, the Kung Fu Panda has gone down, downhill, dude. First one's best one, all right? I want to see lots of bamboo. Is it possible snapshot construction? Yes. Just a panda crystal mob would be perfect. Oh, dude, true. A panda crystal mob? Yo, hell yeah. So, like, it doesn't tick. Let's say 1 billion every tick now. It ticks, like, every from 600 mil to 1 billion. Well, I mean, that's minimum damage. I mean, that's calculating your minimum damage to your maximum damage. So, yeah, I could understand that to make sense. I mean, that's, that makes sense to me. Can you snapshot the 15% card drop star sign? You can. Want the new skill to be inspired? Or else I'm also quitting. <laughs> to be honest, would love my character's TP reset to level 1 again for some system. Level up dopamine is, so what, is what I live for. I mean... I would, I'd be, I'd be all right with that. I hope we get a dragon warrior trophy, dude. Okay, we're thinking too much Kung Fu Panda here. All right, this is, this is, chat, this isn't, this is good, just going to be a Kung Fu Panda business, okay? This is, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit different, all right? We, we can't just be like, this better look like, because basically, chat, what you're asking for is you're basically asking for, I want this, I want this next world to be equivalent to Miss of Pandaria. Kung Fu Panda, dude. True. True. Shrek World when? True and real, dude. Lava announced, dude, imagine, Kung Fu Panda Lab, Ninja Class, dude. Okay, I, I feel like I've got you guys way too coped up on the Ninja Class. I, don't, I, I really don't think it's gonna happen, but I mean, it could. It could happen. Timeless Isles was basically an idle game. True, and it was one of the best idle games ever, dude. I love Timeless Isles. Will World 6 have skill link to classes? I don't think so. I think they're all going to be all around passive. Over all that, any idea what the last lot specials equipment is going to be? Uh, shoes. We're going to be able to wear some, uh, uh, some, some pumped up kicks, you know what I'm saying? Can't copy everything on it or also probably get hit with a copyright strike. Nah, I mean, it's already pixel art. Pixel art. It's already 10% difference. That's Miss and Pandaria. We, we would get brewing skill. Yo, I'd be down for a brewing skill. So want to see the shield bearer class, dude? Yo, dude, that'd be sick. Finally getting a character that has a shield. Just, just uses a shield and just rams through people in a line with the shield, dude. That'd be sick. Before it would tick the exact same value consistently without any difference. You're just wondering if anything else changed. No, it's probably your just damage was too high that it just didn't show a difference. All the other kids better run, dude. Ninja into samurai. Last slot on tools could be a glider. The true legend trophy. A null class where you can build with the other class's skills. Like a, like a creative. And we'll call him the blobby light master. And he throws blobby lights as his, as his auto attack. World 4 dungeon party cooking, dude. That'd be kind of sick, actually. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. You know, like have a... You know, actually, that'd be such a good World 4 party dungeon. World 4 party dungeon where you have to kill specific mobs in order to get specific materials to start cooking. Wait, that's... Wait, hold up. No, never mind. That's World 1 Party Dungeon. That's just a reskin World 1 Party Dungeon. Never mind. I take it back. Shield Bash, Shield Bash, Shield Slam, and all that juicy stuff. Shield Bash, a new solution for tower defense. Imagine if each class has a secret side class just for World 6. That'd be kind of cool. Hey, the Shield of the Floor, make it an Earthquake for AoE damage? Hell yeah, dude. More likely account-wide skills. Tacking. Adding attacking with how big Boomerang is really already going to be nuts. Absolutely. Deke has a shield? Nah, -uh. It has a sword. Down bad for some blobby light stuff, G. I think a blobby light master would be hilariously awesome. 
It would be a shout out to AQ World's Moglin Master, dude. And and then we and then we could say chat if we had a Blobulite Master class, then we could say BMs are good because it would be it would mean two things. Kung Fury reference would be incredible, but I don't know if it's too niche. Yeah, true. New class, green spore, have to involve it up to at least class upgrades, dude. Now that's going straight maple story. Oh, a new crafting station? Probably. World 6 skill fights allow movement between platforms without using the ropes? That, I mean, maybe. May, maybe that would be alright. But I don't know how movement will help that much in an AFK idol game. <laughs> it would be sick if there was a dungeon where you go around to a <laughs> task and it says Wazam. Yo, squid's onto something, dude. Magic PO gives you a secret class for the main classes. I think time gating something like that would just make people mad. Could be a druid type class. It could evolve into different monsters. Yo, dude, if we get a dr bro a druid class, okay. If we got a druid class, I'd be mating druid. All right, we all know this. Okay, if I could change into a if I could change into a bear or change into a green spore to do poison damage, bro, you you know we'd be all over that. Oh, not Poe, not P.O., I meant Poe. Oh, Poe, like, oh, okay, okay, like, Kung Fu Panda. The Spirited Crucible, dude? Yo, now we're cooking. Creative class, get the reduced by two seconds per kill with a 20-hour CD skill? Yeah, all you would have to do is get Tentacle Eye for three seconds, and then, and then have, have the, have the th printer goes burr on that class, and then that thing's already broken, all right? I'm not saying as a shield, I'm saying give, give DK the big shield. Yeah, true, dude, true. BM is druid, dude. No, BM it, BM is not a druid. He is a summoner. Okay, a druid would be like transforming into like a big, a big wolfy boy or a big bear boy that does big damage. Like even, even if he, you just like transform for a split second just to do ability, that would be badass. All right, and he, and the best part is, Jet, he could use fist weapons. A druid class could use fist weapons, and it would totally be anatomically correct. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We could finally have a, we could finally have another fist player. Are you an Uter player? Actually, I I got I to be fair, I got to dime, uh, Diamond Four. Diamond Four were playing Udir, so I mean, yes, I was an Udir main for a long time. Druid is one with nature. Maybe BM will become a shapeshifter. Thing with new classes is that they have to use the same main stat as some of the other classes while not being specialized in their skills, so it would feel weird to implement a starter alongside the rest. Yeah, you'd, you have a starter as a druid, and then you make it so he uses agility. Lava now, but it's only for only a photo. I'm actually loving the druid idea. It's up there with the ninja idea. Absolutely. Gave it away, dude. Wh what? When did, I, when did I do that? Uder and Earth is awesome. Yeah. You're already stacking that copium today. Well, I have to. I have to give you guys as much copium as possible before we hit into the yellow bubble tier list. Because oh boy, we know we're gonna be getting into something. <coughs> Beastmaster, more like Labmaster. Yeah, true. Shield bearer for strength, ninja for agility, a druid for whiz. Bro, imagine if Lava just went overkill and just added three new classes with freaking. Three new classes, chat, with, with, uh, with, with three new character slots, dude. Just for Spirited World. He just went over the top with it. He brought a shield bearer, a ninja, and a druid. Tilty of the gods crafted with god shards. Oh, oh nah, forget everything that he adds. New fisticuffs that he used for late game, so you're not using boxing gloves? Yeah, true. Po fist, I'd be so hyped for it, dude. That would that would make the game pop off so hard, dude. Like this game would actually pop off so hard if it introduced three brand new classes, not just elite classes, just brand new classes. Just got to world five recently. What do I start on? Divinity, my dude. Get divinity done. Get to like level forty divinity as soon as possible and lock go gut. It'll make your dream a reality. I'd I'd go drop five hundred for dude right away. I'm I'm waiting for the next next pet rotation, bro. But isn't the classes already kind of set on the wiki? N nothing set in stone, Dark. That's the, that's the beautiful thing about a game still being in early access. It's nothing is set in stone. Chat, if you guys don't know, this game is not early. It's still in early access. And so anything can happen. Oh god, hi Pickle. Would you mind if a new class would just be a f uh, fighter and not have any skilling related talents? Yeah, that'd be fine. <clears throat> as, long as, he's, as long as he's good, as long as he has good prints, that's fine, I don't care. 
So I'd be going for, go for it before the new rotation. Negative seven keychain with 6% mob response. Nice, dude. Well, if there was more class, you would need to change the UI for skills and tool equipment. I mean, you're not wrong. You defeated one of the divinities, so you know what might happen in World 6. Yeah, true. Is it early access? Yes, this game's early access, chat. <clears throat> has it been out like two to three years? Yeah, true. Yeah, it has been out for two to three years, absolutely. Heard three new classes, of all as well new slots. Said where, please? <laughs> Roduck? Roduck has changed pay to win to a whole, whole other standard, dude. Shut up, Pickle. Post right up so everybody can see it, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Data my name might be a prank from Lava, so the new class would be a surprise. Yeah. Gee, I got my electrical ordeals. Or, sorry, Celtic ordeals. But my damage didn't jump much. Uh, it doesn't really jump all that much. Did you put upgrade stones on it yet? You won't see much damage jump with Maestro. This is my new life, dude. All right, is is it? You're just you're just gonna hype chat. You'll have to update the bubble list. Hey, Roddick. By the way, by the way, Roddick, I probably wouldn't do hype chats. They take like they take like over fifty percent. By the way, just 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 FYI, Jeff Bezos takes like fifty percent. So I mean, I mean, you just if if you just want to donate, and I'll just pin your comment to the top. We could just do that as well. I'm gonna go buy a jar of pickle and trash it. Happy hour to Jeff Bezos strikes again. You know, you could highlight your message with guild boxes, right? I wanna be special like Roddick, but this is all I have, dude. That sucks, dude. Yeah, Roddick could have any message pinned if you asked. They take 50%? Dude, all of Twitch takes 50%. Whatever I, the, the only thing, the only thing that they don't really take 50% from is donos, bits, and T3 subs. Everything else, 50%. So, like, even, it like, chat point highlights for plebs, did. <laughs> Can I have my message pinned, too? Well, it looks like you have to beat Roddick's hype chat, dude. Oh, yeah, chat, it's crazy. But one day, chat, one day, if we magically hit... Yo, Weasel, thank you for the 420, dude. Oh, hands up, baby. Red hat. Woo! Roddick has too much money, dude. Roddick, Roddick you know, he, do, he, does what it, he does what he needs to do, you know? $700 Canadian hype chat, dude. Oh, bro, only, bro, a $700 Canadian hype chat? Yo, that's crazy, dude. Yo, insane. Who the fuck would think that's a good idea? Who would do that? I can't retire for another two years. Oh man, man, dude, it's oil barons feeding G like that. This is the only way I've stayed afloat, bro. Only way. That was bait. That was that. That is hard bait, dude. As a duty, give money to G. U G. Well, you just think about it this way. Without you know, without the, without the people like Rupert and uh, uh, Rika, Chav, you know, Roddick, all the all, all the all the you know all the primers and stuff that come in, um, bro, I couldn't I couldn't you know imagine not getting your your daily dose of content, Chad. Imagine, imagine you guys not getting idle on content, dude. You guys would you guys would be you guys would be in distress. You'd be like, bro, I don't know how to do this new mechanic. I don't understand, man. I need Griffy guides, bro. I don't get it. What do you mean there's expeditions? Whoa, that doesn't make any sense, dude. We're using GOAT and in the lab, does it take Divinity Staff to count or no? Yes, it does. If you're running GOAT, yes. We'd be so much more productive. No, don't worry about it, dude. We would need to a actively play and not just AFK the game, dude. Without the subs and donors, we'd have Griffey pet roll system. Yeah, true. We'd get progressively more raspy. Yeah, I know. Sorry, my throat's a little raspy today. What do you mean alchemy is the single most important thing in the game? What do you mean? <laughs> <coughs> oh. Sorry, chat. Ah, I gotta clean that out. 27 more marks of grace and we're done? Hell yeah, dude. I only need 9k more GP and I'm done winter. Still don't understand why Griffy Bear is the only popular and big YouTube channel. He's you talking about for Eidolon? Is that what you're talking about? You're talking about why I'm the only one for Eidolon? It's because A, I don't know about you guys, but my production value is fucking A tier. And uh, my how I how I deliver digestible content is S tier. Okay? 
and 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 I and I read chat. No, my production value. No, my my per, my production value is only A tier. Okay, because I don't do really high end edits. But but my by digestible research and content is S tier. And, and and most of it's carried by the intro. All right, let's be honest here. <clears throat> let's let's be honest. It's all about my dudes. What's going on? All right, we all know it. But anyways, dudes, I gotta get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Eilon video. Stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out. There it is, dude. Right there. Intro, outro. It's what makes the, it makes the content creator. Carried. And, and you know, and, and you know, I got, I got, I got carried by, you know, you know, the speed run as well. To be fair, one mechanic to have a quite constructive. All X Peacocks. Oh, well, now you do. Can I get help with some peak gaming quest, dude? Uh, I can answer questions. Better watch out for the jobless snake or whatever. Who was here yesterday? He's got like 300k followers. Yeah, yeah, no, no. He's just got 1.78 million uh, subscribers on Twitch. I mean, on YouTube. But I mean, he's a GTA RP. I got nothing to worry about. Where did my dudes come from? Your older videos don't have it? Okay, so... <clears throat> so, I was thinking of like... What, what am I going to do for to make people think that when they click onto a video, they know this is a Griffy Bit video? And I was like, I was looking through and I was like, what do a lot of the bigger YouTube tubers have? Well, they have an intro. They have a specific thing that they say every time in every video. And they have their slogan. And they have their quote. So I took some time. I did a little thinking. And, uh, yeah, just like Jeff Septicai, you know, top to the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septicai. Or, or, hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. Or, uh, oh, what's up, dude? Beautiful. You know, those are all brandable quotes. You know, how's, how's it going, bros? You know what I'm saying? Like, th these are the types of things that, you know, are, are something that needs to be done if you want to be uh, remembered, right? You're not going to be like... Uh, you know, for instance, you're not, you're not going to be like, uh, you know, McDouble's here back again with another video. Today we're going, like, everybody does that quote. Everybody does that fucking quote, okay? Hey, I'm catching this one. This is running on empty food review, dude. Meanwhile, Ludwig, yeah, boys, you know, that's still, that's still memorable. To the individual of which you are listening to, of what is has going on, dude? Anyone had advice for Divinity? So yeah, I just did some work, and then that's uh, that's what happened, dude. And then and then the rest is history. History. She said you got forty, but damn, I got five characters doing one XP. For, well, I mean, you get higher stances the more you level up, so it gets faster. So you don't have the intros, outros, clip to insert them into the videos. No, 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 no. I don't. No, I don't. No, dude. No, 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 dude. But yeah, that's that's basically how that that is basically how that works. Just need people to say one star game sucks. Name starts with P and S. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it. I said it. I said it, chat. All right, you win. You win. I said it. But where did my dudes come from? Um, actually, a lot of the inspiration came from uh, Forge Labs. If you guys have ever watched Forge Labs, uh, he does a lot of Minecraft series, uh, 100 days in hardcore kind of deal. Uh, and uh, I really liked his, uh, his way that, he's, that he started off his, his videos. Uh, so I uh, curated it, so it worked for me, and that was, uh, that was basically how it works. I actually hate his intros with a passion. Good. It's probably why it works so well. Because <clears throat> let's be honest. If I'm, if I'm here trying to, uh, trying to only curate to, to Pickle's liking, then we'd be Hearthstone streamer. Okay? We, we, we would have zero subscribers. Okay? Okay? So, uh, so the fact that Pickle hates it means that we're on the right track. Catered and Pickle, you'd have a dead stream. Yeah, there we go, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle hate watching. <laughs> <coughs>
Oh god. Sorry, chat. I am getting I'm I am getting a little bit sick. So if I'm if I'm sounding a little raspy and shit, that's that's because uh I'm uh, I'm I'm getting I'm getting a little bit under the weather. True, G hates watches my life, dude. Yeah, true. Sick of pickles bullshit? Yeah, dude, actually. Only cure for what is more winter hot, dude. Bro, you can't be sick on update eve, dude. Sound raspy two bubbles ago. Yeah, true and real. Eat some vitamins, gameplay time. Imagine if you did start to did start play pickle, he wouldn't hate watch, dude. I think also I think also what helped carry the stream chat is how many memes we have. You know what I'm saying? We have so many memes. We have like minus one pickle. We have 2.6k whiz. We have no red hat. We have dootless. We have Thomas. You know, we have slash dance. You know, we have, we have, you know, you know, minus one shrine. You know, minus one slab plus one slab, you know. The first two with about me. Do you see the sick pickle game coming out August? The Pixel Thursday suggestion? No, I have to take a look. No whiz, no riz, you know. Hognog, true and real, you know. Two humps, one life. <laughs> true, true. We have the sheepy. Can't be sick when Gear 5 is about to come out. Yeah, you're true. True, dude. True, actually. True and real. Oh, chat, by the way, I got another crypto sponsor. <sighs> Somebody, 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 somebody else wanted me uh, to do uh, to do a crypto sponsor. I was like, man, I was like, damn, dude, that's that's a lot of dudes. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like at least five dudes. Okay. And I was like, shh, shh, shh. I didn't do it. All right, Chad, I didn't do it. I got you know I gotta stop I gotta stop being I gotta stop being so stingy, dude. To be honest, I gotta stop being so stingy and take some damn sponsorships because I because because I see because I see a sponsorship and I'm just like. Nah, fuck it. Nah, nah. I don't know. I'm I'm weird about it. If I if I it's like, don't take no. I don't don't take the crypto one. It's called Shadow Gambit. Sounds interesting. The demo was amazing. It's about a ghost pirate. Yeah. Oh oh shit. No sponsorship, dude. That's you know that's what I'm saying, dude. It's just like I don't know. I want to take it, but you get sponsored by gambling things. No, it's that's not gambling. It's gotcha. It's different. Hello Fresh is the only sponsor you're allowed, dude. I hate spe I specifically hate the Factor 75s and the Hello Fresh sponsors. Both of those are dog shit. Just sell out for one week and back to crypto gambit, dude. God dang five dudes get a goddamn Shadow Gambit sponsor. Go message the devs. About the other one from yesterday. Is it though? Is it though? I played Ant Legends or whatever. It was a bit not bad. Yeah, it's okay. At least you took Rogue. I mean, I drink Rogue though. So that's different. I, I drink Rogue all the time, so it's completely different. Raid Shadow Legends. I guess you could say I have no whiz, no riz, dude. Man, I should have I should have said that in the purple bubble tier list. I should have said, chat, we gotta remember, no whiz, no riz. It's not chase the bag to take a damn sponsor or something fun to make up for it, dude. Bro, it's not the same though. Which came first, the the the, the drinking or the sponsorship? Uh, 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 I won. G doesn't cook all the time. G doesn't drink crypto. Noted. Yeah, true. Legends of Ilon collabs with Raid Shadow Legends. Currently approaching my final tune. What do I do with it? Well, if we take a look here, boom. Feel so targeted. Good. One from yesterday was a good one. I'd rather see the sponsors pay you than chat having to keep a house on your back, dude. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Chat, chat's my sponsor. You know, chat sponsors me to continue making guides and playing games, uh, playing idle one. And I, and I, you know, I, I, I do that. Most YouTubers, I think, take sponsors for stunts they use personally. Free sponsor mats plus play plus W. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, dude. I'm wait, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting until I'm waiting until we hit that point where I actually get sponsorship opportunities from people from things that I actually like instead of just a bunch of fucking mobile games. It's like, bro, stop. Why is the meta? Is it two BM? I'll let you figure that out. I'll let you figure that out. Take a sponsor and pay the mods. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Does he know? 
The Eilon Guide is sponsored by Eilon. Yeah, true, dude. Mobile games are fine, in my opinion, as long as they're it's not something predatory. Most mobile games are predatory. Name me one mobile game that isn't predatory. Pay them in crypto, but Wednesday you said BM is the best. I mean, it doesn't mean you want two of them. Eidolon? Eidolon started as, started as a Steam game, didn't it? Or started as a, started as a PC game on web. Flappy Bird, Chicken Odyssey. Okay, you guys are talking about arcade games. Okay, you guys are literally talking arcade games. Give me, give me, give me like a like a norm, like a norm one. Candy, can't, oh, bruh. Candy Crush is so pay to win. Are you kidding me, bro? You can't even get past wave two hundred without specific power ups. What are you talking about? Runescape. I mean, Runescape was PC original. Rude, and that's not necessarily true. You could pay for everything in the game to get ninety nine. Okay, so that's technically not true. Name literally any mobile game? No, not those mobile games. God damn it. I don't want collab time candies, dude. True. Say that. Say on the YouTube, no luck. No. <laughs> Inflation RPG, you can play it on mobile. Pay to win, the predatory are different. Oh, true. Yeah, okay, you're right. You're right. I said, I said, give me the difference between predatory. Okay, I said predatory microtransactions. Sorry, sorry. You're right. You're right. You're right. Predatory. Yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. Okay. True. True, true, true. You guys, you guys won on that one. All right. That's a, that's a rip bozo on my part. Okay. I, I messed up. Would you consider dude as predatory? What I consider dude as predatory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's in the middle. I'm gonna say it's in the middle. I'm gonna, say it's borderline. It's borderline predatory. Personally, because it, it's a, it's a massive amount of boost. It's a massive amount of a buff to make you want it. Uh, but at the and and the fact that the the gem increase it, it, the fact that the gems increase per treat tier, so it gets more and more expensive. But at the but at the same time, it's not like you need it. It's not like you have to have it, right? You could you could totally just avoid it completely. Yo, what's up, Bullet? This game before the game still playable? Yeah, I mean, if the game was unplayable without it, then yes, it would be over the line predatory. But because because you can still play the game, there's no paywalls behind it. You you still you still totally totally work around without dude. And it is possible to get free to play. Yes, it is possible to get free to play. So there 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 is there is a that's why it's more border. It's the FOMO that make yeah I would yeah I would agree with the FOMO puts it a little bit over the line. It's it, I think it's the FOMO. The FOMO is the worst. You experience everything in the game without it. Let's be honest, current state of Eilon, single player game, I'd say it's not. Yeah. Free free RAM as my high Z's, dude. Imagine having to pay to unlock a new world. Yeah, if you had to pay to unlock a new world, I would actually go on strike for Eidolon. Oh, 100%. If he, pay, if he paywalled the new worlds with a DLC, I would probably go on strike. Waiting for rotations of trading, just doing my pets GF account, trade spares to the other accounts. There you go, dude. But auto lose kind of pay to win. Uh, auto loot. I would auto loot. I would consider as a box price. I wouldn't consider it as a pay to win mechanic. I would say it's more of a uh, it's 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 the same as you b playing a mobile game and paying five bucks for no ads. You know, it's kind of it's kind it's kind of it's kind of the same deal. Speaking of DLC, FNAF security breach. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. What does predatory mean? So, so when when somebody when somebody says predatory microtransaction, basically what it means is here's a great example. Okay, say you're in a gem shop. Okay, and something costs five thousand gems in order to buy it, and then you go to the packs to buy a pack, and then the pack, or the the previous pack only gives you forty nine hundred gems, but the next pack gives you way more than than you need for the gems. So what it does is it's a predatory, so it incentivizes you to buy the bigger pack because the previous pack will be a hundred gems short. That that is that is a perfect predatory practice.
Basically all free-to-play games. Yes. Explain to me how you win an Eilon. Never understood the pay-to-win argument. Just getting super juiced up. Just worried about the future balance. Does everything get balanced around Dute? Six times print, two times push, world six easy with people to Dute? Well, I mean, I mean, here, here's the thing, Sheik. Even without Dute, and I hit world six, I would be able to skyrocket through, uh, skyrocket through it regardless. That's where, what it really comes down to. It all counts on how, how long you've been playing the game. It's the same like, you know, you could make that argument for RuneScape. It's like you're worried about the future balance for people that have been playing RuneScape for 15 years and have a 99 character, right? They're going to, all the new content, they're going to be able to whisk right through because they have all the resources already to make that easy peasy, you know? They already have uh, 1 billion GP and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so technically, you know, dude is only broken early game, changed my mind. Well, it's not even that broken early game because you can't even get it till World 5. Comes with bonus gems, seems like a good deal. Make a payment for a reward for better future payments. Yeah, I'm still on the same Pedarina tap from last night. Oh, Jesus, dude. You know, so it, it does, it, it realistically, if you're already that far into the game, you're going to be able to skyrocket through the content anyways. But it is. Yo, what's up, hunting? What's going on, dude? All right, chat, let's get into the gambits here. So here's the plan, all right? Here's the plan that we have for today, okay? We are going to do our Gamba. If my chair comes in today, we're going to do we're going to, we're going to do a chair building. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna build our new chair on stream. And afterwards, if that doesn't happen by the time we get to the point, uh, we are going to for sure happening today. Chat, I'll be right back. My chair is here. I'll be right back. My 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 chair is here. Chat, my chair is here. So. uh... Kind of pog. I'll be right back. So it looks like we're building a tr looks like we're going to build a chair before the before the tier list.
Oh my god. Ah. Uh, woo. <sighs> Ah. 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 That was a fucking heavy chair. Wait, why are we on a hype train? Wait, I leave and I get a hype train? Bro, should I just leave more often? What the fuck? Ah. Holy shit. Ah. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm getting it all set up. Damn, Jer. Good job. Making some... Being, doing good, buddy. You do good. All right, pet the ram, dude. Chat, say goodbye to the chair. Say goodbye to the chair. Doing good. All right, that's done. Sorry, chat. How dare I do that to the chair? I know. I know. You guys gonna see me do build this with Crocs on, all right? Ooh. All right, let's do it this way. Duplicate chair. Yo, thank you for the hype train chat. I appreciate it. Let's add a uh, 
Get rid of old things. Imagine how you'll treat us in two to three years, dude. Nah, dude, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> Video capture device. Okay. That's the wrong. Why is it? My immersion. No, my immersion, chat. Life is a lie. Yeah, chat. My room. Hi. My room's just a green screen. The hat is blue? Yeah, it's blue. Yeah, yeah, chat. It's blue. Okay. Blue. Here, let's put this up as well. Ah. Uh. Honestly, I think Secret Labs is kind of dog shit. Low-key. Any of the Secret Lab stuff seems kind of dog. That's where- thanks, man. That's where Gollum went? Sick, dude. The crock shot, baby. Look at that. Uh, 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 uh. Crock shot. <sighs> Don't forget to block the address. Don't worry, I already did. <sighs> Don't worry, Chad. I already did. Ain't no way he's hitting the witty, dude. Don't worry about it. The immersion's ruined for me. Don't worry about it. All right. Mitosis bit. Tube socks, Crocs, dude. Hey, bro, this is how I stream, dude. You got a fucking issue? Got an issue with my Crocs, dude? Wait, no, chat. This, in the end, it is still an idol on stream. We need to remember this. It is still an idol on stream. So we got to make sure that we do this. And we have to do this. And we do this. There you go. There you go, chat. You, st you, still, got, you still got your idol on. There you go. Incremental chair building. Absolutely. I absolutely knew you were a socks and sandals kind of guy, dude. My streamer, dude. All right. Why not tremors? Uh, because I'm farming cards. I'm card farming. But yeah, chat. This this gives you an idea of how much room I actually have, dude. Look 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 how look how look how how much room I have, bro. I have like literally no room in what I'm doing. What is VR stream, dude? True. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Who put G in the corner, dude? This isn't going to end well, dude. Make me sick how the cameras have different delays. What do you want from me? Ow! Ow! Ow, it's on my foot. You skips lag day? Dude, I skip going to the gym day.
we focus? Yo, what's up, G-Man? Buff your skinny buff? I'm skinny buff? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, Chad. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yo, those damage numbers are the trillions? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they really are. He has no strength, dude. I have you know, chairs are really heavy, okay? Chairs are very, very heavy. Missing piece, dude. I swear to God, if I'm missing a piece, bro, I'm gonna lose it. Yo, chat, check out this headrest, though, dude. Look at that. This thing, this thing's, this thing's, bro. Look at that. Nice little mesh there. Kind of nice. Kind of sick. Kind of like it. Bang, bang, bang. Beefy. That's a little beefy. I'll pick that up later. Will your head ever get rested, dude? Probably. Oh, and you know what I like about this? Look at this, chat. So it can go like that. It can also go like... But it's supposed to it's supposed to do the thing. Do the thing. It lied to me. It lied to me. Whatever. Whatever. Second one. Show us the headset vent. I don't think I don't think I do I have a headset? Do I have a headset vent? Probably. I mean, all I do it. Yeah, you do, bro. I'm balding. All right. Been balding for a long time, chat. Your hair purple? Yeah, dude. See? My eyes are bleeding. <sighs> like these Crocs, bro. Wait, wait, chat. Wait, wait. Gotta put these bad boys into sport mode. We're getting crazy with it. Now we got it. Now we in the sport mode, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at this, dude. This is chunky. Gonna run them now, dude. Look at this thing, chat. Woo! Look at that. Look at that lumbar support right there. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Look at that. That's got a full freaking mesh backing on that shit. Gonna re recycle the chair for stamp. I got Eldritch Toss from the first island after five days of nothing. Nice. Even Crocs are min max. You know what, bro? You know we always wear Crocs. It's called Light Chair Weakling, dude. I was looking for a more ergonomic chair, to be fair. Oh, this. Ooh, that's a nice butt support. Okay, bro. I'm not Cartman. All right, we're not gonna do. We're not gonna do that level. I still leave my shit here and there. Yo, the two, the Tuckus seat, dude. Sorry, ma'am, ma'am, bedroom, bring more hat packets, ma'am. Get the packet, get the bird, ma'am.
Need giblets on your Crocs? I don't need no giblets on my Crocs, okay? I don't need any. Oh, bro. Bro, I messed up. I got no LED lights on my freaking seat. I need LEDs on all my seats, bro. Let's be honest, chat. This was the type of variety you guys were missing, okay? But let's be honest here. You guys were you were you you guys were missing the variety. No Crocs either, dude. Wow, we're getting fishing tours, dude. Next stream going outside, not too much. the hell is this oh oh i know what this is i'll pick that up later that's the that's the thing to move boober chat Throw, heavy duty chinese throwing started <laughs> i have crocs with fur wear on i i don't i don't like the fur crocs i'm gonna be honest i really don't like the fur crocs Read the instructions, G. Ah, the instructions are for bitches, dude. You gotta realize I'm the Eidolon guide guy, bro. I'm the one that makes the instructions. <laughs> he is the- I am the chair. Yo, chair guide, dude. Yo, look at this honking piece of machinery. Look at that, dude. The beast. Apple bottom jeans, Crocs with the fur. <sighs> chair guide YouTube short. Every chair reclined forward 50% if you don't read instructions. Yeah, true. I will read the instructions. I was just kidding. Chat, instructions are important. Make sure to always read instructions. Wait, is anyone timing this? Yo, we should have had a... Bro, miss opportunity, dude. I could have had a speedrun timer. Ah, oh, Blew it. All right, let me put everything back in, and then, and then we'll restart, all right? That is a lot of screws. We don't need screws, right? Screws aren't necessary, right? I think we all know this. Yeah, we just use flex tape, right? Flex tape? I mean, we could if you could flex tape a car and go underwater, I mean, sure you could flex tape a chair. Zip tie that shit, dude. Yo, look at these, dude. We got wheels, bro. We got wheels. Oh, here's the big pump. There's the pump. Look at that. Look at that, chat. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Actually, chat, to be fair, to be fair, we haven't done something like this since we made the red hats. Have you noticed that? Have you noticed it's been like way too long since we've done something like this? Kind of crazy. But we'll probably be doing more stuff like this with the P.O. Box. Like, once we start, you know, if people send stuff, I'll probably do the P.O. Box opening like this as well. So it'll be cool. Cool stuff. Bro, I always am down for more socks, okay? Okay, I think these are all just the legs. Send you some damn ankle socks, bro. Are you dissing my socks, bro? You know what? <sighs> now even the sto now even the socks are in sport mode, okay? I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, dude. It's how, you, it's how you give definition to the calves, all right?
Okay. Stage one is completed. Last is in sport mode. Yo, let me get up there, dude. All right, now we're in full sport. Let's get it. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, brother. Hot sport mode, you're right. We're sporting. We're, we're, we're full sport mode now, bro. Everything's sport. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let me, let me get the, let me get the, let me get the true here. You ready for some sport? You ready, ready to play some, ready to play some baseball? You ready? Hey, go long. You forgot the shirt? No, I don't have a wife, Peter. Super hyper Godspeed, G looking idle chat. I'm busy building a chair. Okay. What? The, the, this is what we have for instructions. Bro, these are my type of instructions, all right? These are my type of instructions, okay? Throw them away. In real life gains, dude, chair stream through monitor, just put it in case of G, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Please do not remove. Assemble five legs on the leg core using the A screws. All right, A screws. They're not labeled. Where's the A screws? Yo, Donkey. Thank you for the primer, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Yo, let's get it, dude. Let's get it. <laughs> Before the B screws, dude. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. I, I think I, I think I, I think I understood that. G the builder? Hey, bro. Hey, yeah, you know we got it, dude. We just got the new chair coming, so we're gonna build this before we do the yellow tier list. Yo, bro. Is this Neodymium, dude? In real life, constrict speed, kind of mid, dude. Need more XP range? What about green stack chairs, dude? I don't know if I have enough room. I don't know if I have enough room to green stack chairs, dude. I'm gonna be honest. Where's the Allen key? Will this, wait, will this? Will this Allen key work? Nope. Nope. I'm pretty much just, I'm pretty sure I just stripped the, the bolt. Yeah, dude, I have too many, too many XP cogs, not enough build rate. Don't worry about it, chat. Oh, oh, it's not stripping, it's one of those bolts. It's got, like, the digging in thread. Wow, this is actually really nice quality. This is actually really, really good quality chair. Holy shit. Even the bolts are nice. Digging in thread? Yeah, so there's, there's teeth on the back of the bolts. To invent it, invest it in the chair grind, dude. What are those? What are those? Void or chair, dude? Yeah, lock bolt, whatever it's called. Yeah, lock bolt, sure. Yeah, it's a lock bolt. That's why it sounded like it was stripping. They make headlamps for Crocs, dude. You know you love my Crocs, bro.
Yeah, these lock bolts go hard, dude. We're just going up from here. Let's be honest, chat. When do you think you're going to end building it? Oh, bro, this ain't going to take me long. No, 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 no. It's not going to take me an hour. No, I'm going to be honest with you. This would probably take me another 20 minutes. 20 minutes and I'll have it built. Give or take. Pretty easily. How much was the chair? Uh, I got it on sale for like about... It's originally like 300 I got it on sale for about 250 What's your build rate? Like 3.5 mil, something right there. Three hours later, almost done, chat. No, I'm, I'm usually pretty quick. Got like 20 screws, dude. 50 save, not bad. Yeah, and I, I did a lot of research on this chair. See, the, the, I like my other chair, but the problem is, is A, it's fabric. B, it's, uh... It's too big. I don't like how big it is. It takes too much of the webcam up. And I need, a, I need a more ergonomic chair. My back's starting to hurt. So I got an ergonomic chair instead. Too big? Yeah. We know you need space for that giga ant, dude. Just mesh with me saying it took three hours to put two chairs together. Yeah, what the difference is, is I worked in trades. So, I mean, you have to work quick. What about giving the old chair away? Is this a, is this a chair sponsorship? No, this is just a chair that I bought, dude. I was just going to build it on stream. Good luck. Tradesman, yeah, sir. Quick, but you need to build it so you can sit on it, dude. True. True, we have to be quick. It's content cannot go on without it. Da, 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 da. Hey, at least you guys still at least you guys could still watch Eidolon. Why are you farming? Uh, carts. I'm card farming right now. Coffee. I just sit on the floor and build it because I got bad knees. I'm gonna say no luck. Yeah, okay, dude. I'm gonna be E farm right now. Get it, dude. Last one. Gonna farm chairs in the next world, dude? True, actually. Just hope this chair just doesn't squeak, man. That's the only thing I care about. Chair island incoming? Yeah, absolutely. You got an Oscar Schlattler knee or just a normal tall knee boy? A tall knee boy. Cycle trash to build more chairs? Yeah, true. I'm going to try this out for a week, and if I like it, I'll sell the old chair. But if I don't like it, I'll just go back to the old chair. Imagine G sits and it falls apart. I could see that being a potential possibility. Yep. Good dude while you're at it, dude. Yeah, true. I'll just... How about I just, like, roll CSGO boxes while I'm building a chair, dude? That's, like, S-tier content. New chair, new dude. Pull, dude.
Look at that. Look at that. G, your back? What about my back? Now that's what I call a chair. It's good enough to sit on now, right? Stand on it? What am I fucking dumb? Jump on it? Yeah, I'm not trying to farm chat that bad. Oh, chat, it's our favorite part. Oh. <laughs> it's a VR goggles part of the thing? Nah. AOG chill. I suppose the Lumiverse is, is he the guy? <laughs> oh. All right, next step, chat. We have to use A screws on the rest. Yo, what's up, Rafa? This is how you know if you're a true builder or not. You use your boxes to your advantage. Get a table? Nah, table's for bitches, dude. That goes there. Right? It goes that way. Yeah, okay. You gonna lose something? Nah. We got Cherubil in stream? Yo, what's up, Steph? What's going on? Workbench, big box? Absolutely. I think we got a chair before. It's so bad to build. It's not that bad. Bro, Crocs, are you serious? Uh, excuse me. There are Crocs in sport mode. Yo, Star Wolfie with the T3. Yo, thank you, dude. Always ready. Yo, thank you, dude. Thank you, man. Chair Pog, you goddamn right. All right, <sighs> leave your game rolling and do everything, anything else. Yeah, let's be honest, Chad. This is the true idle on experience. Just have idle on auto while you're going to do everything else, dude. 
It, it literally, literally is Eidolon. I think I put it the wrong way. I, uh... Put it the wrong way, Jet. Pretty sure? Oh yeah, that's, that's, for, that's for sure the wrong way. For sure the wrong way. Isn't it labeled? No, do you see a label? Worry about it. Ah, this dude. I'm in trade. I'm really good at build. Shut up, chat. Changes the class of the squire. After you build a chair and done with the sport for months. Hey, chat. Let's try it again. You're supposed to throw the screws on the ground so you lose them? Oh, true. It's all good, chat. I got it. All those two plus years? I don't know if you do got it. Bro, it's a fucking chair. At least the floor is visible. Yeah, at least the floor is visible. Chad, I'm more than just an Eidolon player, okay? More than just an Eidolon player. Done in 20 minutes, but fuck off. <laughs> Same thing. Oh! Chad, look. So we can go either like this or even even like this. Look at that. Kinda sick. Kind of pog. Wait, I still need that. Bro reloading, dude. Just just wait. Let me cook, chat. Let me cook. Almost lost one. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Turns out the wrong direction when you realize literally watching a chair stream. Hey. Hey, AI channel just checked out. That's so bizarre. We're going to bed, lads. How much higher maestro skilling levels should it be so the gathering resource and character without any worries if they overtake them in levels? Oh, a lot. Because they can literally skyrocket paths within Dreadly Ore. 
Like Bob Gmo? I can't see it. They're coming for me, chat. Chair. It's done, right? It's done, right? Those are pretty sturdy. Okay, so the front. Okay. Okay. All right. Seems easy enough. Sit in it. I don't know if it's ready. All right, let's have a quick little test here. <sighs> oh, God, that's going to break. Never mind. I uh, forgot the box. You know, the box isn't as strong as the chair. Ram looks disappointed. The Ram's just chilling. Told you to use a table. Booty too thick for the chair, bro. More like too bony. Just stabbing right through the box. <sighs> Now that is a big piece of machinery right there. Humongous. Where'd I put the Allen key? Oh, there it is. What is the white pixel on the screen? You mean this? So good, he started building a chair. He's gonna end up with a car. He looks at the chair. Now that's some machinery right there, dude. Line her up. Updated on Kilroy since I believe I'm a week ahead. It reset to Warriors at Slimes, Mages as Quinchies. Maybe you are a week ahead. Usually an arrow sticker to show which side is facing forward. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yo, what's up, Blunt? You know, just playing some Eidolon, doing some stuff. You know how it is. G is currently idle. He's confused. I'm not confused. Yeah, you can't tell me that a little bit of variety sometimes doesn't hurt. He's learning. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Yo, no, nah, thank you for the fall, dude. You got it straight, chat. What are you going to build next month? The kind of content should be on Patreon, dude. Yeah, let me let me build a chair on Patreon, dude. You could do more variety if you took sponsors. Nah. Reload, dude. Reload. Okay, the next part is like super, super easy, dude. We're actually almost done. Oh, 
<laughs> my dude what's going on a proven last stream that you can leave the game auto and build a chair probably even with a touch of grass then actually in order to pick up the chair i had to go touch grass so technically true Next one. Got a wild chair in the grass, dude. Yeah, I did. Chair building guild come, come into the main channel. Do you have power tools? You don't build a chair with power tools. That's how you strip bolts. Besides, they're all Allen keys anyways. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Just use an impact gun. I don't know about you boys, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh. The Mac Daddy. The Mac Daddy classic, dude. Now duct tape it. Now duct tape it. Now we use the B screws, chat. Now we use the B screws. Who's Alan? Did he make you the chair? Yeah, that was Alan. Final stretch, chat. Final stretch. It hasn't even been two hours. It hasn't even been that long. It's gonna be on the first or second channel. It's gonna be on the second channel. Forgot the timer, not my streamer, dude. It is what it is, I guess. All right, chat. It's finally time. Oh, God. Gentlemen, we found the hole. Look at that. Look at 
Look at that bad boy. Look at that. There's a thing on top. It's right there. Boom. Ergonomic chair. No piece missing. Let's go, dude. There it is. And chat. Just for you. You ready? Just for you, chat. There you go. A little bit of bubble. <sighs> nice, actually. Don't mind it. Be short, dude. Why not short, man? Oh, wow, that's like. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, my lumbar support is nuts. Bro, look how straight up I sit now. That's crazy. This back has never been straighter, dude. Your posture looks better, dude. Getting ready to say it. My lumbar, dude. Posture check. You know what's the best part about this chat? Watch this. Now it looks like I'm standing up. Now it looks like I'm standing up, chat. Look at that. Oh, this is the reason why I got this chair. Yes, we're cheating, chat. Griffy life hack, baby. Now it looks like we're always standing, okay? The ultimate test of awesomeness. He's selling the legs, dude. That's why you got a smaller share, dude. You know it, bro. Now my green screen won't mess up as much. Where's our points, G? I don't know. I didn't know there was a point system here. I need to, I need to get this lumbar support set, though. Oh, is the wheel moving it? Wait, hold up.
<sighs> Yo, that's... Oh, bro. Oh, dude. Oh my god, this is so nice. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I'm tall now, boys. There we go. <laughs> How does this... Is this supposed to go back? Hit the eject button. A reclining forward. Dude, I don't even know if I need my other stuff, to be honest. I use, I use like a pad and stuff. I don't even think I need it. This is actually, this is actually pretty nice. Wow, uh, honestly, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be completely honest. The headrest kind of sucks. Headrest isn't actually that good. Almost prefer it without it. That'd be another chair. I mean, it's, it's fine for like what it is, but I mean, it's really hard. The other stuff's nice. I like the chair. I like the chair. The chair's, the chair's good. I'm going to have such straight posture, it's going to be disgusting. Yeah, the posture's amazing. I think that's the best part. Standing up straight the whole time, dude. Yo, how's it going, dude? We just built a new chair, my dude. Just built a new chair. Grinding Eidolon and posture. And it looks like I'm standing up. So if I hide this screen chat, look. It looks like I'm sitting up, dude. Looks like I'm standing. It looks like I'm standing, chat. Would you, would you bro, but you're not, but that's that's part of the trick. Alright? That's part of the trick. Does it not look like that at all? It looks like I'm standing. What do you mean? What do you mean? The illusion of attentiveness. Not really. Your arms. Kind of does. I, I, I personally like it more than the other chair, to be honest. I, I, li I like it. I like it more than the other chair. We see gray squares. Where do you see gray squares? What? Gray squares? Where? Gray squares? What are you talking about? I see it. Right arm? Oh, you're talking about right here? Yeah, that's just clipping, chat. That's clipping. That's, that's just with the green screen. That's all. Because uh, there's too much stuff in the way, so now it's now the lighting's all fucky. So... There we go, chat. Ergonomic as I miss the old chair, dude. That's fine. That's fine. You're allowed to miss things. 
Look at that. Look at that chair. Look at that chair, chat. How much are you selling the old chair for? I don't know. I don't know. I might sell it for like a hundred bucks or something. You know, it comes with uh Griffey exclusive uh uh gamer sweat, you know? Sounds like a good deal to me. Exclusive G juice, dude. That's disgusting. All right, there we are, chat. There we are. How was that? You are now throwing Griffy bony ass grooves. No extra charge. Next four minutes and twenty seconds. True, dude. True. <sighs> Oh, bro, that looks so much better. I'm so happy with it, dude. Yo, peace out, dude. I'm actually so happy with it, man. Now that I just don't have a big clunky freaking chair. I never knew that hat was blue. Yeah, dude, it's blue. Blue. Blue as blue can be, bro. Looks good now on screen, too. That's what I'm saying, right? Looks good on screen.
Yeah, Deer List is coming soon here. Where'd you get that animated Eilon poster? I made it. How does Lava like the new chair? Ah, uh, he said he was alright. He said it was alright. Said he's working on Island number four right now, chat. Island number four is coming soon. Man, I gotta get used to this lumbar support. Holy shit. Moment of silence for the chair that will be remembered. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Chat. Can we have a moment of silence for the old chair? It did good. It did good, bud. But unfortunately, had to go. Had to go. New and better things. You did good, kid. You made me very sweaty a lot of times. And you destroyed my posture. Papa! Ooh! Chad, is he missing a piece? No. Not missing a piece, bro. But you were. What piece did I miss? Making my hurt by motivating me to get better posture, recycling my chair less, dude. Oh, reclining? Yeah, dude. Reclining the chair less. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what was the pull for? Wait, wait, hold up. What, what, what was... What, what was the pull for? Missing a piece? I wasn't... I wasn't missing a piece, Pickle. I expect nothing less. I expect nothing less, to be honest. Yeah, it, the first one's not on me, dude. Listen to G, he told you. Yeah, bro, imagine not listening to the streamer, dude. Imagine not listening to the streamer! Actually, no headrest, so it kind of counts. I chose not to use the headrest. G literally said it, dude. Bro, why'd you trust me, dude? Oh my god. Chair mechanic, please. He said no missing piece. Yeah, I said we were we were not missing a piece. Whatever it is, what it is, I don't care. G removed headrest, so technically missing a piece. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. We're going on technicalities now, are we? Anyways, next prediction chat. Move it on. Let's get our gamba started, and then once we get our gamba started, we're gonna start the tier list. There we go. Yo, what's up, Carb Wimby? What's going on, dude? What's happening? Bro, my back is going to be sore as hell, dude, with this whole new chair, dude. Going to miss the tier list? Yo, rip recipes, dude. Is there any good boat speeds? Ooh, big loot value. Oh, big loot. We got a big boy. Finally, we got a big boy, dude. Ever trust pickle with anything? Yeah, true. Can you show your ovals? Yeah. I got these here. These are my, these are those ovals. These are all my family ovals. So I got construction on DK, drop on whoever I'm activating, you know, all their main stat for whatever. Uh, and then I have drop rate. Drop rate is Ruel over here, and then main stat. I usually like running main stat personally. Never scams, chats, purges, or argues with any streamer. Yep, yep. Close to turning the second channel to Pickle Yama TV, dude. Okay, what's family ovals? All drop rate.
as it should be. Oh, there it is, dude. There it is, dude. I finally moved the lumbar support. Now it's perfect, almost. There it is, dude. Ooh, there it is. We got the last artifact? No, that's what we're going for right now. Cards. I'm using these two cards right now. Or, yeah, these two cards. Card chance and drop rate. Because I'm farming skilling right now. Your posture looks a lot better, not gonna lie. I, I, I don't, I don't... I don't have a choice, to be honest. He's getting it today, boys. Yeah, true. We're getting it today, dude. We're getting it today. To be honest with you, these, these freaking pads aren't so painful. Actually kind of nice. Submission closed hella quick, dude. Need some structured, structured drama. Let's, here, let's put some structured drama right here, alright? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the last Eldritch right here now. Need a new playlist? Ken, you are the only one that complains about the playlist. What's your chair rating? I love it. Much better. Mucho better. Because I'm stuck listening to it? It sounds like a you fucking problem. There we go. This is the time, chat. This is where we get it. This is where we get it. It's just that easy. It's just that easy. We're done. The chair. Bing bong bezel. It's called the ergonomic chair for ergonomic gains, baby. That's called efficiency. There it is, dude. There it is. That's what you love to see. That's what you love to see. Now lava resets you again. I already paid out. I I already paid out. I paid out already. No, fuck that, dude. You ain't you ain't you ain't getting in that shit, dude. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, dog. Show me your lab because I don't know what character placement is most optimal. Wick, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's just gonna be super confusing. There it is, chat. There it is. We are officially full Eldritch Artifacts now. Full Eldritch Artifacts. It's just... It's done. We're done. We're finally done sailing again. Now what do you do with sailing? Get all your boats to 300. All the boats to 300 and then 400. Whatever man, I'm playing Hearthstone. though. We're up sailing gambas? Hey, expeditions are coming soon. Just don't click the gold button now. Uh, I could finally stop spending gems. Chad, I could finally stop spending gems on bottled wins. I don't have to do it anymore. I don't have to do it anymore. Good joke. I meant on gems, dude. Just gems. Just gems. It's all done. Feels good, man. I feel like this is the second time you've gotten all Eldritches. It might be. It might have been the second time. Might have been the first time. We don't know. All right, chat. Next Gamba. Here we go. New Gamba's up, chat. Saving money every day, dude. How many gems do you have? I think I have like I think I have about like 30k in the reservoir right now. Give or take. I buy in bulk. So I don't have to keep on pulling up my shit every day. What circles do you keep in storage? Uh multi-kill, chopping, and mining. All right, chat, vote up. Here we go. 
Bubbles are a pain. Yeah, they're really, really bad. What's the chance? We have a 41.7% chance. Maybe we'll get reset today, chat. Maybe today's the reset. We need better storage system for way, way more spaces. Yeah, we need more opal storage, 100%. 100% more opal storage would make everything a breeze. It totally looks like I'm standing up, chat. It totally looks like I'm standing up. Standing up if you're really short, dude. It doesn't. It does to me, dude. I, I, li I like it way better than the other, because we don't have all this gray in the back. Def look like you're sitting. It's okay. Well, at least it doesn't... We, at least we don't have that gray big bulk in the back, dude. You know what I'm saying? So it, I, I, I'm, I'm much more pleased. You move around more when you stand. I can see the chair, dude. Shut up. Shut up, bro. At least Gollum can fix his back. Oh, dude, I can tell that I already have a messed up back. Well, I do have scoliosis, but... This this just this just makes it uh it's good. I, I'm gonna be in pain for the next couple of days to get worked in with this lumbar support. Hundred and ten percent with love, of course. Here we go, chat. And there it is, level thirteen. Level thirteen. Too easy. Too easy. We got an Eldritch today. We got a new snail upgrade today. But we're still gonna have a small nugget. Seems about right. Seems about right. Small nugget gang always, dude. The smallest of nugget gangs, dude. Never changes. Never ever changes. If only, dude. If only, bro. Feels bad, but it is what it is. How's your squirrel? Squirrel's actually doing pretty good. Squirrel's actually not too bad. Almost both at 600. We have a fertilizer at 3.4 minutes on average growth cycle. Did you spy a smaller chair to hold your nugget? Yeah, Drew. What are you even doing in gaming now? Uh, I'm waiting for the plants to tear up. I'm trying to get, trying to get, uh, next multiplier. Rip my boxes, dude. Rip my boxes. Yeah, dude, I don't have T6. Got white screen while trying to do Void Walker prints. Yo, rip, dude. Yeah, 3.4 with Kitsune's alright. Stell keeps resetting. At least a roll of 72k nugget this morning. Nice, Smashy. Imagine not having old T6 plants, dude. I'll get there, man. Just let me cook, bro. Let me cook. Alright? Just let me just let me just let me cook. Yep, now we do the printer. Now we do the printer. How's the, uh, how's the card collection going? Yo, we're done, goldfish? Yo, we're done, goldfish, baby. Look at that. Goldfish are done. What, multi to get MSA big bits? You need quite a bit, honestly. I don't remember what type of multi you're going to need in order to hit that. But it is quite a bit. Mission cards are so bad. They really are, dude. They really are pretty bad. All right. So let's uh, let's quickly do our alchemy here. We actually might have to do a cranium cooked proc, to be honest. Oh, wait, is uh, Carpenter officially? <gasps> there it is, boys. There it is. Carpenter is now officially atomable. Oh, bud. Oh, baby. That's a big one. There it is. It's zooming time. <laughs> big day for gains is right. 307. Today's a big day, dude. 1.72. Oh, yeah, there, bud. 
My build rate was like 243, 244 mil. Let's take a look. Let's see what it is now. It's a lot of cards, bro. I, I'm even getting bloach cards, man. Hermit cans are done now. We have Hermes done. We just need jellyfish done. And then we're on to flies and butterflies and then easy resources is done. Damn, dude. What's your card stamp at? Like 220? Around there? About, about 220. Alright. So, with that upgrade right there, I went up about... I was at 244, so about 20, 24 mil I went up by build rate just by putting all those points into Carpenter. What's your card bubble at? Not very high. So I mean I mean, hey, just from that just from those hundred upgrades, twenty-four million, I'll take that. Ten percent ain't bad. Yeah, it's not even ninety percent yet, so it'll just go ups from there, dude. Look at that. Level sixty poisonic elder. Love to see that. Level 68 Pulse Mage. And Call Me Bob, only 500. Yep, Call Me Bob's only 500, so it's about to juice up even more, dude. We're about to pop off even harder than we've already been popping off, dude. We're getting there, dude. We're getting there, dude. It's getting, getting wild up in here, chat. Getting wild, dude. Let's see if we can finish off uh, Jellyfish while we're here. Not daily squat yet again. Does Rift count for Blood Berserker kills? It does, actually. Yes. You got scared? Why did I get scared? Hydrate? I don't have anything to hydrate with, my dude. Sorry. Jellyfish still needs 699. How many do bloaches it need? 3,000? Okay, that's still a little far away. The ram, dude. Pet the ram, bro. Drink blood to hydrate. Expeditions? Bro, you think I know anything about expeditions? Think I have any idea about expeditions right now? 200. Ooh, I'm getting like only 289 bloach cards. That's kind of sad, actually. Says you'll, uh, all hosts will receive 100 bitcoins upon hosting. Yeah, true. True, dude. Means, uh, that means you host the stream. Community manager should know, dude. <laughs> true. There it is. Jellyfish are done. Just like that, chat. Now we're on to flies and butterflies. We're almost done easy resources. Easy resources are almost absolutely completed. Labagriffy, it's an anagram of it, dude. Yeah, but yeah, if I set up properly for bloaches, yeah, yeah. Just want to know what happened to Kyle. Kyle, Kyle Kyle's still around. He was, he was streaming the other day. You're an easy resource? You know, I'm going to take that as a compliment, to be honest. Thanks, bro. Do you max balance of pain prayer? Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. No questions asked. We almost there. Hell yeah, dude. Did we hit any? Bro, we got no alchemy procs, man. You get more gaming procs, though. Crazy, I've never seen Lava and Griffey stream at the same time. It's because Lava hasn't streamed in God knows how long. So, I mean, that's not that's not a fair that's not a fair uh, fair comparison. All right, chat. It's time to throw on these cards, and then we go over to Sandy Pots. Lava hasn't streamed since Dude. Yeah, you're exactly right on that. Bro, the fact that we're almost done with easy resources means our, our gains are going to start getting insane. Make sure you don't have Rucksack on. No, I don't. No, I, I, I know. I, I only have it on my active character. Man, they t you took out... Bro, we took out some of them. Is it okay if I remove this command? Yep. Go for it.
You do what you gotta do, bro. Sorry, Lava used to stream same time as G. I was surprised weren't stream sniping him more. Yeah, I mean, wasn't, wasn't, didn't really want to. What does catching bonus do? It does, honestly, you want the real talk? It does absolutely nothing. In, in the grand scheme of things. It does absolutely jack, dude. Oh, that big back crap. Big back crack, dude. Woo, feels good. What does Capogen do? So what was Capogen is when people play, uh, made emotes, it would hop on the screen. It would bounce, the emote would, with the, the emote would bounce across the screen. That's us. That's a stream elements thing. Yo, what's up, Chocolate Tata, -da, dude? What's going on, man? Does nothing. Yep, does nothing. I, I, I took it off. He hates emotes. Put it back, dude. No, because because the thing is, okay, here's the thing, Chad, all right? Here's the thing. Here's the reason why, okay? Is because I want to use some of my VODs and stuff for, like, you know, emotes, or sorry, uh, for, for recordings and stuff for, for the YouTube. And uh, though I hated seeing the random emotes fly everywhere, and when you cut it, it, it makes it way harder for the editor. So that's why I got rid of it. That's the reason. I mean, I mean, it's understandable. What did you get rid of? So you used to be able to make, like, do emotes and then it would jump across the screen. Random cap was flying across your YouTube video. Yeah, exactly. It just, it just, it just wasn't, just wasn't very good. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't ideal. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, it also artifacts my webcam if there's too many that go across the screen. That's a very good point as well. Big true on that one, actually. That's a very, very good point. Bro, tier list, please. Bro, we're getting there. Chill. I still gotta, I gotta still do my daily stuff, dude. I, because if I don't do it right now, I'll end up ignoring it. Ram color tier list, bro. Bro, please, I need it. Thanks for changing the playlist, by the way, G. Yeah, I got you. Wizard 101, dude. All right. What's our card info here? One in one hour? A times 58. I'm not even in the preset. Damn. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Do arcade, please. Nah, I'm, sa I'm saving my arcade. It'll be back in a bit. Sounds good, dude. I got... Give me that. Bro, was that a thousand name, I guess, dude? Almost at a thousand name, I guess. Snail payout? We already, I already did the snail payout. What the fuck are you talking about? I think of O's. Yeah, that's definitely not O's. Definitely, definitely not O's. Oh, it was 13k that we had right there. 13k ladles, dude. Have you ever been reset to the snail level one? Nope. Never did. Any tips for idle skilling? Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. I mean, you should do it. It's a real, it's a really good trophy, but it's a pain in the ass. Uninstall. Good tip. This game is a pain. It gets easier, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a pain in the ass. Get trophy and delete. No, shut up, Kin. Don't tell people to cheat, bro. You fucking... What kind of shit is that? Oh! Cheat, get your trophy on it. Okay, Kin. All right, dude. All right, bro. I'm done. I'm done. How do we do it? Don't. How do you fight against bullfrogs? 
260 marks of grace. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, you gotta fight bull bullfrogs well, bro, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We're still on working on cans, Jet. We're on cans right now. We still need 5,900 more cards. But even something like Crawlers is brutal, dude. Crawlers is at 20,595. Don't you stream at night sometimes? Eh. Not a huge fan of it. One sec. No. No, Reaper. Nah, dude. Dungeon cards are easier hard? Dungeon cards are a pain in the ass to farm. They suck so bad to farm, dude. Not even- not even funny. Not sure what Rebirth is yet? Oh. Just wait, dude. Just wait. You'll- you'll find out real soon. Real- real crazy. Keep ascending and rebirthing a rubber band you fire enough along the run. Yeah, and Eviscerate is your best friend. As soon as soon as you find eviscerate, hard farm eviscerate. Tell me how to get the trophy. You have to get to Tehe fifteen. You have to kill Tehe fifteen. Is that a card? No, it's an upgrade that you can get in the lab, and it's a const I believe it's a construction item as well, right, Jet? It's a construction item. Here, I need to I need to move this up a little bit here. Why is that why is that a thing? Oh, that's so much better. Now I can okay that that's much better, Jet. There we go. Man, I hate that little speckle. I hate that little speckle right there, dude. How <sighs> I need more lighting in here. I need I, I need I need I need I need more lighting in here. Just not enough, man. It's better. It's better for the most part. Be cool if you had a daily login reward. Oh wait, hey, that, that might work actually. No, it's... It's kind of there still, not really. I'm pretty high up though. Actually, this is, this is kind of nice, chat. This is actually kind of nice, dude. I'm like super high up in the air now. It's kind of sick. My feet, my feet barely touch the ground. T15 hard or just time consuming? It's time consuming because you have to build up the DPS and you need a, you need high eviscerates. So basically, so when it comes to idle scaling, okay? So basically, here's how it works with idle scaling. A, you need a ton of solar damage, okay? And B, not only do you need a ton of solar damage, you also need the eviscerates. And what the Eviscerates does is basically you have to kill Tehe 15 and then your Eviscerates so juiced out that all the kills from Tehe, Tehe 5 will carry over to like Tehe 15. And that's like the only way to do it if you want to do it in a reasonable time frame. And that's, that's basically, it's basically how it goes. Last solar damage taken forever? Yeah, dude. It takes it takes literally ages. 
So what is solar damage? What's a good amount of it? Uh, I would- solar damage is like the highest- like pretty much the highest tier that you'll get, and like it's, uh... Uh... Solar damage is like... Lava's idea of like recycling damage, so... You know, you get up to like QQ, you get up to like yellow damage, green damage, red damage... Or wait, blue damage, red damage, and then you get into solar damage. Solar damage is like the highest tier of damage. Damage eyes like bits do. Yeah. You like I'm a goner? I ask because I have no idea solar damage or T he is. And you'll, you'll eventually figure it out. I did my time, got my reward, uninstalled and forgot. Yeah. It's, 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 it's... It, it, it yeah. It, it, it's difficult. It's difficult to say the least. Honestly. But once you get it, you're, you're pretty much golden at that point. It's all about, it's all about the matter of fact of getting it in the first place. It's a, but the problem is, it's like, it's a super overpowered trophy, right? Like an insanely powered trophy. Here we go, chat. Next gamb is up. Wish Lama was here. He would know how to explain it. Yeah, basically, if you, so if you do it legitimately, and actually farming it every day, it would take you about approximately four months. Four months it will take you, approximately, to get it done. And that's with some knowledge. He's got a new gaming shirt, Chaz. He believes it's going to get more than five. Well, the rewards are time-gated, too. Yeah, the rewards are time-gated. But even the progression is more time-gated than the rewards, to be fair. Yo, what's up, Snafu? What's going on, man? Happening, bro. Took me 1,100 hours on stream, all legitimate. Yeah, it took me about 400, 400 hours to get it done. The grind, dude. The grind, brother. Gamble's up, chat. We're going for five plus printer procs here. Going for the big five. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling, feeling like, I'm feeling like I'm looking good, bro. It feels like I'm looking good, all right? Damn true, new gaming chair, all Eldritch and plus one snail. That's exactly it. Exactly it, dude. It's a good day. I had four, so big doubting. Yo, what's up, Hadix? What's going on, dude? Here we go, chat. Here we go. Here we go. We got 12 seconds. And I'll start it. Rave crab, dude. Knows a lot about IS. He's the one who taught the bot how to play Nota. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that, chat. Today is, I guess, today is the day, chat. Today is the day. Today is the day. Just can't stop winning today, chat. It's a chair buff, dude. Chair buff. Plus one to posture, plus one to luck. You know how it is, dude. You know how it is. Here, let's see. Let's see how the luck is really going here. All right, that's kind of... All right, I figured that much. All right, all right, all right. I'm out of luck now. That's that's unfortunate. We have 2.19 million atoms, dude. We're golden for what we need. Any tips to get cooking off the ground? Just hit world four and start baking some eggs. So so basically how your how your your gains are gonna go for, for cooking, okay? So, you're going to start off with farming eggs, and then you're going to make your way to the thing known as a corn dog, and then you're going to hit cabbage. Cabbage is where you hit start hitting hyper farm. After you start hitting cabbage, you're going to be unlocking a bubble known as Diamond Chef. Okay? 
uh, which is in the yellow cauldron. This is gonna be your next huge, this is gonna be your next huge boost. Alright? And then after you get that next huge boost, you're gonna be st you're gonna be working on getting plates to level 11 and unlocking other plates. It's a pretty bad bubble. Diamond Chef is an F tier. You guys are cracked out of your mind if you think Diamond Chef is F tier. Let let's remember something, chat. Okay? Let's 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 just let's just remember here something. Okay. Just a just a just a quick thing. You do realize that the uh the the V Man talent, okay? This blood marrow doesn't really start working until you have like how many level plates? How many? God, like a thousand? At least a thousand, dude. So I mean You're gonna wanna have Diamond Jeff. Hundred percent want Diamond Jeff. Anybody who tells you it's not good, they're lying to you. Because I remember so many people being like, Oh, bro, I got my Diamond Chef up this high today. Oh, bro, my di I leveled up my Diamond Chef today. Huge poggers, dude. Oh my god, I love Diamond Chef. You do realize, chat, you do realize that there was a meta based specifically around hard farming that one spice. Okay? There was a whole pet meta based on it. Okay? Alright. Diamond Chef, yum. Absolutely. No, not really? Are you- are you crazy? Zelb, was there or was there not a whale strat to hard farm beach dock spices? Was there not a meta build for it? That there was a meta build for farming the each box spice before you could no bubble left behind it. Fake news? Just wait a few weeks, no bubble left behind will carry it. Are you dumb? Yeah, thank you, Zelp. See, even the even even one of the end game players, dude, even agrees with me. The build didn't exist around farming beach docks. Yes, it did. There was there was literally a build be be based around beach dock salts. There's a caps the amount of plates you have instead of total level. Same reason Adam upgrade cooking is juicy. No, it didn't. It didn't exist around beach. Okay. It, it did. It, it just did farm beach. Bro, he's he's <laughs> pickle. Pickle's so dumb. Pickle's so dumb sometimes, dude. I swear to God, dude. So good. But I bet you, you put all your highest pets in Beach Dock. You sure did. You absolutely did. You put all your highest pets in Beach Dock. Even if you focus several spices. Yep. Big true. Big true. Diamond Chef bubble scaling is trash. You can't deny that. It's actually not that trash. It's actually pretty good. But doesn't mean the entire build was focused around beach docks. It pretty much was. Because you because you you built whales around it. So it pretty much was. And that, that's not what the word means. You were hyper focusing mainly beach dock spice within that meta build. Built what but your highest tiers always went specifically for your beach docks. I mean, the whale meadow is alternating spice zones, but it wound up hitting beach docks, but you, but it was made that way to hit beach docks. I mean, I, I, I don't know about you, chat, but I mean, pfft, you know. But the whale meadow was clear of the gem shop. Yeah, that's accurate. Doesn't mean the entire thing was made up because of beach docks. It was focused around it. This is a meta for leveling cooking stations. Yeah, well, it, it, until you... No, it's not the meta anymore. It's, uh, the meta... The meta is this right now. The meta is, uh, the alchemics for the first couple of, uh, first couple of spices here. And then, and then you start running Miasma, Burger, Forager, and Converter all the way down. That's the, that's the current meta. And then you have, like, a, uh, you have, like, a, a rabbit at the end.
You only have Alchemics on the first two? I believe it's uh, one, two, three, four. Four, four of them. There was a strat with just whales around beach docks only too. There was a strat, absolutely. You farmed odd number of spices, just left fourth kitchen rot mostly? Yeah, basically. What's with the random rabbit at the end? So the random rabbit at the end is because there's no... So forager is what buffs the burger. So since there's, since there's no burger below this spice, you don't need another forager. So use it as a, use it as a flashy. Because what flashy does, okay... Flashy does, when foraging, all pets contribute 1.50 times more foraging speed if there are no combat pets in the team. So, so it's, just, it's, just a big, it's just a big multi. And that's the whole point. That's the whole point of it. Chat, you guys remember, you guys remember the Flashy meta? Bro. The combat flashy meta where you could where you could summon a quadrillion boomerangs, dude. Bro, that shit was crazy, dude. So, so for the people that don't know, flashy used to be incredibly, incredibly broken because because you could spam flashy so hard with boomerangs that you could literally do millions upon millions of damage with boomerang just because you could have so many boomerangs because of the flashy proc. Because what Flashy did is duplicate all friendly attacks instantly, almost like magic. And so, and... Okay, my virus protection shut down? Okay, cool. And also because of, uh, what was it? It was, uh, it was coffee. Coffee used to be broken as well. So many boomerangs until the game froze? Yeah, absolutely. It looked like tower defense. It totally looked like tower defense. Yeah, hold up. Let me quickly open that. Let me, let me open up my shit back up here. They never changed coffee. Coffee got coffee got changed. Coffee did get changed. No protection. Get them, boys, dude. Axe, get it. Oh, that was a little bit. What do you think about that? No, no, I'm good. Uh, hello. Are we good now? So refillers were OP. Refillers are still really strong. They're just not as strong as they used to be. Hello? Uh, hello? Am I back, chat? Am I back? Hello? H hello? What they used to do then? They used to refill way more than what they used to. Like it was like, it was like a way less of a ramp up time before they came infinite. Yeah, dude. Absolutely not. Go back. Go back into the patch notes, dude. You'll see it. I was ignored. Wait, what flirt? What'd you say? AG, is there a reason to keep extra plat twine? Yes. Keep plat twine in case there's uh, new armor that requires it. Ability was never changed. It always works the same. No, it doesn't. X to doubt. Build up was longer because flashy was changed. Now, the real question is, Pickle. We have the same account, right? Who's the best at farming World 5 boss keys? Yeah, Elemental Sorcerer. <laughs> Got him, dude. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's finish up here, chat, and let's get into the tier list. So, uh, I'm gonna time out Pickle for about two hours when we, when we, when we do the, um... When we uh when we go do do the do the other stuff, I'd argue with enough DR you can out farm your boobo. Possibility actually, I did farm out a lot with my boobo. It's okay, I got the Larry alt, dude. Why? That was a joke. That was a joke. Look at this. Chat's up in arms for freaking pickle, dude. What am I gonna do with you guys? What am I gonna do with you guys, dude? Not enough damage with high wormhole score. DK Bubo is better than you think so. Y you think so? If pickle, we trust pickle makes me feel good about my opinions. Bad pickle, dude. I missed the tier list. No, no, no. You want to be banned a little while before I'm evading pickle, dude. 
<laughs> Ban evading, dude. The, the audacity, dude. The audacity, man. At least what I heard today in the main island discord, because I'm not there yet. Well, I mean, if you don't have enough damage, then yeah, I could see that. I, I, you know what? I, I could, I could understand that with enough drop rate, uh, Bubo can outfarm IE, or uh, ES. Because it's, it's technically, if you think about it this way, it is still on the first page, but I mean, Bubo just gets so many kills per hour, that's insane. Especially Tremor Worms is his best spot. Tremor Worms is literally Bubo's prime time, so I could, I could definitely see Bubo being stronger than ES for farming. Honestly, I would argue if you're farming, if you're farming Tremor Keys, do Bubo anyways. Active, I get 30 plus on Bubo, 50 on ES, and 70 on DK. So it looks like DK might be the might be the cream of the crop. I mean, it might be DK might might be the might be the Giga Juicer. We'll just have to wait and find out, I guess. Guess that extra DR on Divine Knight, yeah. I could, I could see, I could see with the new statue buffs as well. You know that makes sense. You know the new statue buffs on Trevor Worms can really increase your clear speed. Your clear speed's insane with Perma two statues. Really strong, easily gets six to eight hundred orbs. Yeah, per hour. I get more on ES, but my DK's damage is a few T lower. Yeah, that's probably why. New statue buffs, what are those? So, with the new, with the new uh, V-Man enchantment, uh, basically what you can do is you can basically have two permanent statues because the V-Man uh, enchantment at 220 will give you an extra 20 seconds on your statues. My dudes, how we doing today? Yo, what's up, Ox? What's going on, man? Enchantment, Minecraft. It's enhancement, but I like saying enchantment. Enchantment's cooler. That you meant actual statues? No, no, no. Oh, uh, you know what feels really bad, chat? So, for the purple tier list, I ha- I ha- Bro, it cut off a little bit. It cut off just a tad, man. Of the bottom of the bubbles. Minecraft is cooler, dude. No, you're cooler, dude. See, see how, see how it's cutting off a little bit on the color source there. See that, dude? Yeah, big F on that one, bro. Big F on that one. It's all right. It is what it is. It is what it is. Bucket throw the whole thing out. I'm not redoing the tier list. I'm not redoing it, dude. Redo? No shot, bro. Honestly, would have noticed if you didn't point it out. Yeah, I'm hoping that most of the people don't notice either. Just redo it off stream? I can, man. Unstall game over, man. Yeah, true and real. Chat, you ready, you ready for the final tier list? I'm gonna have to comment on the video, dude. The audacity, dude. Now the real question is, chat, do we, do we, do we stand up or do we sit like this? Do we do, do we, do we sit or do we stand? That is the real question. I think we stand. I think, I think we need to stand. Squat? Sit? No sweat gaming? Sit? What happened with the tier list? Can't even tell the difference. Handstand. See, that's that's why I like this chair, dude. This is why I like this chair because because you can't see the difference. Stand up for what you believe in. Just roll a one to fourteen. Do scythe. Let's go, dude. Every once in a while, we'll confu confuse everyone. Tier list is gonna take a while. Might want to stay sitting. Nah, this tier list ain't gonna take that long. Oh.
Like the squad option? Yeah, I'm not going to squat those, alright? Do I be opening birthday cards or keeping them? Keep them. Because it, it, the only thing that you're going to really need from that is a birthday hat. Is it sitting or standing? I can't tell. I'm standing. Cap locks ready. Why keep them? You yeah, never know. Never know. They might be used for something. Might as well green stack them. Catch you later, guys. Sounds good, Vaughn. Have a good one. While well, using uh, Bubo to CC farm? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. The reason of raising liquid while using CC farm is simply because, uh, you know. Less cranium cooking procs to get max liquids. Okay, chat. Let's quickly go over. We are doing a generalization. Okay? Generalization of the tier list. That means no companions. That means it's not based off an of end game. And it's not based off of early game. It's based off as you're progressing throughout the worlds. We're going to be also basing it off materials. And the potency of the bubble. We all, under we all have an understanding of how we're going to be doing this. We all get it. We all Any questions before we continue? Or before we start, I should say? Three, two, one, fight. Yeah, peace out, Kim. No? All right, everybody's hold their peace. All right. Let's get started, chat. <clears throat> Let's get started. So the first one we are starting off with, does the tier list make, uh, take V-Man into account? Well, yeah, it's, it's the V-Man cauldron. The first one that we are going to be dealing with, chat, is known as a Lotto Skill. Lotto Skills gives luck. It's also a linear bubble, and it requires thread. Uh, like we said before, this is total luck, not base luck, so it doesn't get scaled by all stat percent. I'm going to be honest with you, this is one of the weakest ones out of the three. Or, out of the four, I should say. The weakest one's out of the four, because it requires thread, and honestly, you can't really ever scale this. Because, because you can't hourly click it, and it's not really worth it to use it with atoms. So what are we, what are we thinking? I'm thinking... I'm thinking B tier. I'm thinking B tier. It's still stats. It's still stats. It's obviously not something you're gonna... It's something that you do use, though. You do put points into it. I think, I think it's B tier. It might be low B, but it's, but it's, but it's still B. Because it's good early, but bottom B? Yeah, it's definitely bottom B. Bottom B or high C. C, not a priority. Lowest of the low, F. You just let no bubble left behind level it. It's multiply, can't really farm at high C. Comfortable leaving it at top of the C. You guys, you guys prefer top C? Eh, I can understand why it's not really a priority. I can understand that, yeah. I could, I could 100% understand that. Okay. So, the reason why... Okay, so for the, for the sole fact that it doesn't, get, it doesn't get multiplied by anything, it requires thread to scale... It's really just all around not that good because it's luck. Sure, it does help with the Maestro or the V-Man, but unfortunately, it's just not quite there. So out of all the four bubbles, this one's going to be top of the C tier. Just not a priority. You're going to let no bubble left behind level it up. All right. We have... Another... We have a fantastic bubble. We have a very, very, very good bubble. Where is it? There it is. We have a great bubble. 
known as Larry. Every time you upgrade an alchemy bubble, there is a percent chance it'll upgrade two times for no extra for no extra cost. Oh, so chat, if you get it above 100%, it has a chance to do plus three. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? And it takes Dementior. It takes Dementior by far. Dementia is really easy to get. It's not hard to get. It's not hard to get. This bubble is required if you want to get decent alchemy. 100%. It, this shit, you gotta realize, chat, you, th you, think it, you think it costs Dementia, which you gotta understand of how many thousands upon thousands of resources you save by having Larry. Okay? You save a lot of materials for this just across all of the bubbles combined. It is easily, easily S tier in my books. If to get perfectly times, it is a little bit expensive to get times two to be 100% because it requires level 500 for times two and to get a 10% for times potential plus three, it would be, uh, a, it would be 1100. But even if you get this leveled up and start working on it, even getting a 20% chance on a possible plus three or a plus two saves you still tons of materials regardless. This is, this is 100% an S. 100% an S. Requires level plus 100 billion cost? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's way too much for an early player, but early game, you could still get a high percent early game. You could still get a very, very, very easy amount to even try to get this to plus two. Even 20% is cheap. 30% is cheap. Once you start getting into like the 70s and 80s percents, that's when it starts getting brutal. And Dementia is an easy ore. Even a 50% chance to double is still an S tier. Yeah, you can easily get to 40% at level 100. It's crazy strong. No questions in my mind. This is S tier. Easy peasy. Getting mag is easier than leveling Larry? Now that's a base take. That is a huge base take. How many people have a high level Larry compared to a Maglodon? Okay, let's be honest here. Anyways, moving on. We have Cogs for Hands, which gives you a percent cog production speed, and it is a linear bubble. This is pretty helpful, but it also requires the... What are the ice cubes, chat? Ice, ice cubes are frost flakes, right? Ice cubes are frost flakes, I think. Are they? Yeah, and the material comes from frost flakes, which is early world three. What are we thinking? I'm going to be honest with you. Be 100% honest with you. You don't pay attention to this till late game. Not 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 even in the slightest. This is this is this is something that you really 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 don't pay attention to. It's a good bubble. It's a good bubble because it's linear. But at the same time, I would I would say it's B tier. I would say middle of the pack. It's good for cog rolling. But I it, I would say I would say it's like low B. It is crucial to cog grinding, but you really don't, you don't start cog grinding until later game. Pardon me for gold snow place to get so much mats for it to be a decent level. True. Very true. I can't sell keychains. Uh, you're not allowed, dude. I, I, I would think, I think we could all be, even cog grinding it isn't even that much of a prio. C early game, B tier mid. So here, here's, here's what I would say, okay? Since it doesn't really matter until later game, but it still is a decently crucial bu bubble, and it's linear, I would give it a low B tier. So for now, we'll throw it at B tier. It'll probably get surpassed by other bubbles, but it's, it's a B tier. It is a linear bubble. You need to remember, it is a linear bubble. Okay. It's, it's like 4% per level. 
Very, but yeah, it's very bottom B. Okay. We have no bubble number 12. So notice sample it, chat. This gives you a sample size when taking samples for the 3D printer. And it takes Dune Souls. What are we thinking? Horrible mats, great bubble. Go to B, B. Might be F actually, A. C, pretty good, low C, easy to hit 90% without it. A, definitely not above C. Spice must flow, C at best. I could see that. Can't go wrong with sample size, but the mats are mid. The scaling is terrible. This, 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 the scaling is terrible. It costs Dune Souls. I would say, if anything, top the pack, C. You're, you're never, you don't prioritize this. Because you have Royal Sampler. Royal Sampler will help you, Royal Sampler will help you get to 90% before you even pay attention to this bubble. I'd go low B, it's a must, but you want to, if you want to drop Royal Sampler ever. It's either high C or low B. The scaling is abysmal. Dune souls suck. Because here's the thing. By the time, here, here, here's, here's what you got to realize, okay? A, after 90%, it doesn't mean anything. Second, on, on second, by the time you actually get to a point where you can just drop Dune souls on a bubble like this, you will already pretty much have 90%. You'll pretty much have 90% sample rate already by the time you're ready to dr hard drop Dune Souls. So, I mean, I would say I would say you level it up and let No Bubble Left Behind level it. I would say Top of C. I personally would. Can we agree for those reasonings that would be Top of C, chat? But if you want to drop Royal, though, Purifier, that's late game stuff. We're talking, we're talking end game stuff, Purifier. We can't, we can't go based off an endgame situation. Why would you want to ro drop Royal Sampler, though, for the extra XP? And to be able to switch bubbles whenever you want. Is it higher than total luck, then? Yes. Yes, it is higher than total luck. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it would be the top of the pack, see? I think we can all agree, top of the pack, C tier. It's not necessarily a priority. That works, I can agree there. Alright, so. Because, sample it, by the time you're actually going to start hard focusing it with Dune Souls, you're actually going to be ending up already having 90% sample rate. Once you hit 90% sample rate, you're pretty much good. You're going to be running Royal Sampler anyways, and also the Star Talent. So, and realistically, the only time that you're ever going to hard prioritize this is, is if you're ever trying to drop Royal Sampler, but that's a pretty end game thing. So, you're not really going to focus this. No bubble left behind will pretty much take care of it. So, top the pack C tier. We have another bubble here. We have a big bubble chat. Or if you just don't have Royal. I mean, Royal's like one of the first prayers you'll ever get. We have a big bubble here, chat. Known as Big Game Hunter, which has to be equipped. Killing a giant monster has a 52% chance to not decrease the giant mob spawn odds, which resets at the end of each week. I don't know about you guys. Hold up. Let me, uh, let me quickly... I think I think I think this is probably S tier. Easy S. This is super strong. This is this is super strong. It does cost scorpions. It does cost scorpions, so it is expensive. But here's the thing, okay? Every time that this procs, that means you get more candies. And that's the biggest thing. More gems, more candies, giant killing with tactation of the Titan Prayer. This makes this very, very strong. But it is situational. You can only technically use it once a week because you will hit such a high giant cap. But just the candy alone makes this really good. 
It's it's the time candy. You get basically a premium currency and more of it. Trading scorpions for candies and gems is an easy, easy deal. So at the start of each week, you want to make sure to run this bubble until you have like giant chance up to like 1.0 mil. Somewhere around that, or even 800k or somewhere around there, that's when you take it off. So I would say it's not above Larry, but I definitely, definitely think that even in the early game, it's still solid. This is this is more mid game, not so much early game, but mid game. It's still a super super solid bubble. I would put this lower on the S tier. This bubble is how you get dread tools on everyone. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's only as if you act a play, some people don't. <sighs> oh, shit. That's a good point. Oh, oh wait. Hold, okay. All right. All right. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Huge point. Huge point. That's a, that's a fucking fan. That, that changes everything. That, that's a great point. So Big Game Hunter is a super, super solid bubble, and it'd be an S tier if you're an active player for Tactation of the Tyrant Prayer, so you get your giant mob, so it reduces the chance. A lot of the majority of the player base is actually not active players. A lot of them actually play idly. So if you're playing idle, this is not really going to benefit you. This is mostly meant for active play, and it does cost scorpions. So if you're active play, it's S tier. If you're more of an idle player, top of the pack A tier. That's a fucking fantastic point. Solid. That's 100%. That's 100% a great, great, great point. That I needed to have the mark of active for one idol. What is this? Not nah, still S, just low S. No, it's top of the pack A tier. It's still a great bubble, but you got to think of the 99 percenters. Yeah. Yeah. How is it A for idlers? Because they, they can only log on ever so often. So since you can only log on ever so often, you still want to run this whenever you can. But this is, this is only really used and abused for the people that have active play all the time. Because you got to realize, Shep, you got to realize something, okay? When we start seeing mob chance being like 1 in 800k, 1 in a million k, or 1 in a million, it's because you guys actively farm overnight. That's the reason why that gets so high. If you're not farming actively overnight, you will never reach one in one million. Not necessarily. Unless you have godlike RNG, bro, it ain't happening. I would, I would say definitely, definitely. But, but chat, I even said... If you're an active player, it's S tier, okay? We can all agree. Active player, S tier, okay? I did say that. Remember that. Active player is S tier. All right, the next one we have is... Wait, what is this bubble? What about questing you kill giant mobs? Wait, what, what is this? What is this bubble? Bro, I don't even know what this bubble is. F tier. Oh! Library checkout speed. Alright. Library checkout speed. <laughs> Okay, next one we have is called Ignore Overdues, which gives you a percent book checkout speed, and it just makes your, talent, makes your talent library refresh your books a little bit faster. What are we thinking on this one? And it requires Wispy Lumber, which is located at Quenchy's. I think this is A tier. 100%. 100% think this is A tier. 
You need books. You need books, man. You need books. Considering, well, you don't know what it is, I just couldn't correlate what the bubble meant. I, the bubble, I don't know about you guys, but the bubble does not look like books. It looks like two buildings. Solid logic right there. B for books. No, grats, Elf. Books are needed for sampling. Just progressing a game needs to be mid-A. How else are you going to get your 200 talent levels? Two stack of poker chips. A is great. Forget about books until you have like 80 stacked. It's closer to S than B. Fair enough. But what about people who would not use books? So B? I mean, the people that don't use books are just... Smooth. Oh, this was a construction bubble by image? Yeah, that's what I thought too. It's really expensive a level. Not really. Not really, dude. It's bad scaling. You aren't going to focus it. That is a good point. You don't really ever focus this. Go top A because you can't really level this that much early on. The books are super slow. It stacks nicely with bonuses later on. I think it's an image supposed to be bookshelves. It is, but it doesn't look like it. It really doesn't look like it. A quicker way to craft 600 an item without tapping it 600 times am i in something hold down on quick quick craft b for balls i go with top b above cog i mean that's where that's where i kind of like it top of the top of the b it's not it's in the middle like it's it's super solid late game but it doesn't really matter jack shit late game i mean early game yeah a or b depending if yeah that's a really good point automation arm you know you you know you don't you don't get automation arm right away Yeah, re yeah, for real, top B. So, because it costs wispy lumber, and since it's really good late game, but you can't really scale it and level it early game, and it also kind of depends if you're getting automation arm or not. Realistically, when it really comes down to it, it's more of a more of a later game bubble. But I mean, it's still a solid bubble, so we're gonna put that top of the pack B tier. Wispy's not that expensive. You gotta think about when you start using it, though. Think about when you start using it. Actually, good take. Should I level all my boosts at 170 before unlocking new bubbles? No, push bubbles first. Plus, early game, you don't have the construction speed for the book checkout arm. Very true. Can you show me bubbles you put until now? Larry, big game, hunter, ignore over dues, cog for hands, sample it, and lotto skills. Logs is the easiest skill, though. Yeah, but it, even regardless, it depends on where you put it, man. It, it, you, remember, we gotta think, we gotta think like 99 percenters, okay? We gotta think about people that are filthy casuals. Remember, you gotta remember that, right? You gotta remember that. All right. We have next is yellow bargain tag. The material costs of all yellow bubbles are percent lower. I'll be honest with you. Hot take, F tier. Hot take, F tier. It's irrelevant. It's a little irrelevant. So you got to realize yellow bargain tag doesn't get multiplied. There's no multiplier for yellow bubbles. All the other bargain tags, or I mean all the all the other ones, literally, literally get multiplied. This one does not. And also, pingies. It costs pingies. It makes things hard to add them. Garbage costs, garbage scaling, but I let it go by itself. I think F is too much. You think F is too much? It's not a prio. So what are we thinking? Bottom of the very bottom C? C early game, it's gas. We think very bottom C. That's a good point too, random chatter. It's good. It's a good point. Bottom C, yes. In cost as well, multi doesn't mean it's lowest C. I mean, I mean, it's it's. I I okay. I could say I could I could I could see I could see I could see it being lowest C. You think you you think you think you think I was being rough by putting an F tier chat? Low C is fair. Too rough, G? Too rough, really? 
I hate this bubble. This bubble sucked. This bubble was lame to level. That was a G tier for get get out of the frickin' swamp, dude. I think he jumped the gun going for Oh, I did I did I did say hot take before we got in there. Penguins are too cute to sacrifice. C is a good spot. Think about if you think about early games, this really screws you over for adaming late game. Put it in F myself, but it's still a little useful. Not like the other bubbles. I don't see you having it at one. Okay, for the reason that it doesn't get multiplied by any of the other multipliers like the other bubbles do, and the fact that it costs pingies, not to mention it's in the yellow bubble, I mean in the yellow cauldron, it's, it's okay, but it's, like we said before, it's okay early to mid game, but then it's terrible late game, and realistically it does require pingies as well, so, I mean, let's be honest here, it's gonna be the bottom of the pack C tier. Guys, you gotta think about the earlier games. They do enjoy some discounts for their bubbles. Yes, but it's not a priority bubble. I just screw you, Adam's late game. You're gonna spend to 1 billion. Yeah, but like certain bubbles, certain bubbles are really hard to level. So if you can't get that, if you can't get that 100 million because of the yellow bargain tag, it actually hurts you. It hurt, it actually hurts you hugely. Because, because that means that's 38% that you could have had a chance to be able to Adam that. You're gonna spend pingies on leveling it early game? Don't think so. Yeah, don't think so at all. Not even in the not even in the slightest. All right, moving on. Moving on. We got a big bubble that has to be equipped, aka known as Mr. Massacre. Mr. Massacre gives you multi-kill per damage tier. So this is multi-kill per tier. This is not base multi-kill. So if you have 15 times damage tier on a mob, that means that you get percentage stacked on 15 times. So that would mean at this current bubble level, it would be 81% times 15. But it does cost blue salts. What are we thinking? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, chat. The salt cost is brutal, but even with the salt cost, it is so strong. It is so, so strong. Even with the cost, dude. Even with the cost. Gee, what's your fly sample at? Like 14 mil or something? I haven't, I haven't done fly samples since a while. This is not better than the giant bubble. This is 100% better than giant bubble. This is way better than the giant bubble. <sighs> yeah, I realize this is just overall game progression. And this, yeah, this is also a must for pushing V-Man speedruns. You need to have this equipped. And also, you gotta realize too, this is what makes mob prints also possible. At a decent rate. But it is crazily expensive to early to mid game. Does it stack with kill per kill? It sure does. Now, chat, the real question is, is it S tier or A tier? Because if we're thinking about the if we're thinking about the 99%, it's S tier for us, but that's that's because we can add them it. You are you are gonna let no bubble left behind level this up. Yeah, gee, but this bubble yeah, exactly. This bubble isn't upgradable till late game. No, you don't need to add them it. You just no bubble left behind it? No, you want Adam it. 100% want Adam it. 110%. A tier. And Pickle, you gotta remember, isn't this a World 4 bubble? Isn't Mr. Massacre, since it's bubble number 16, isn't it a World 4 bubble? Is it linear? No, it's not linear. This bubble is one of the reasons why yellow tag can suck it. It's a world four bubble, yes. So that makes it a little bit harder. 
That makes it that makes it a pinchy bit harder because you can't really let no bubble left behind. Might cost six k salts and gives thirty eight percent. That's still huge. It's it's not going any lower than top of the A tier. I know that for a fact. It's either low S or high high A, the highest of the A's. Let's have let's have a quick poll because I want I want to know what your guys' opinions are. Uh, ta me taking in consideration the ninety nine percent, I say top of the A. Okay, it pulls up, Chip. Now keep in mind, chat, this is for the grand, this is for the 99%, right? 99 can bargain tag it to a reasonable level. That is true. They can use bargain tag. They can use bargain tag to help this. You guys really think bottom of the ass, eh? You guys really, yeah, this bubble, I mean, this bubble is insane. Y'all are wrong. We need salts for everything. Materials taken into account. Def should be A. It's a great bubble, but it's just not something early players can even think about leveling. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm seeing. I feel like V-Man takes a tad bit less priority for non-end gamers. Wish you could see who voted. We need blue salts for green plus salts. Easy 40% for 99% is low S for me. After the reduction of bargain tags, even at low adds a lot. Top A, so it's expensive early and mid game, but it's crazily good. It shouldn't be S if I need a C tier to make it good. Once you reach 30 to 40 percent, you stop leveling entirely. All right. Here's what I'm going to say. This is going to be a controversial take, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because it costs blue salts, it's a world four bubble. It's really hard for no bubble left behind to level it up. And it's early scaling to make it really strong, so you can say it with bargain tag. But even all of that being said, blue salts is a very, very hard thing to get, especially for like early to mid game players. For late game, it's S tier. For early for mid game players, it's top of the pack A tier. But if you're if you're if you're later in the game, huge S tier. Huge S tier, not even going crazy with it. Kill per kill big bubble was S tier, so this should be two. No, it wasn't. Somebody didn't re someone didn't watch the green tier list. It wasn't it wasn't S tier. Kill per kill was like A tier. I was here, I don't care, this is much better than it. Yeah, kill, kill, per, kill per kill big bubble is not S. Was easy because green is hard lock for most. They're not that easy, dude. It's not the same, it's, it, yeah, it should be S, but it's not S. If we're, if we're, if we're, if we're thinking about it in, in a 99% standpoint, it's, it can't be S. If we're thinking about how we are far in the game, easy S. Easy S. If it's early game, it's A. Later game, it's S. Kill Kill isn't as strong as Mr. Massacre. Yeah, this is better than Mr. Massacre. I mean, Mr. Massacre is better than Kill Per Kill. We all know this. You got to realize Kill Per Kill wasn't at the top of the S tier or A tier. It wasn't at the top. Yeah, Kill Per Kill was B tier. Wait, IBA Discord? I have no access now. I've been in over a year. Did you lose? Wait, did you lose your roles? But kill per kill at B tier because it's green salt, bro. It's green salt and it doesn't affect prints. Yo, what's up, dude? Just push blindly. It's not even being used. So yeah, I changed my vote to A. I think A is. I think A is a good place to put it. Any blue salts to build any of my other salts tower? So right now, bubbles lag behind. Yeah, I mean it is what it is. Next bubble we have is known as Ag Inc. 
or sorry, Egg Inc. gives a percentage for faster egg incubation. Time in the pet nest. This definitely helps out a lot with egg rarity, and it requires the first spice of breeding. You're never prioritizing this. You're never, ever, ever going to prioritize this. It is not a priority. You're using you're using these you're using these spices to level up your kitchens. You're not using these spices to level up egg ink. This is a low C. This is a hundred percent a low C. It's it's barely that good early game. It really barely that. It's a it's a small modifier. It's literally a no bubble left behind. You, you, if anything, I'm going to be honest with you, probably for the majority of World 4 and partway into World 5, I forgot this existed. It's just, it's, it's mid at best. It, there, you get way stronger ones anyways. Says is, Lava says it's a vital upgrade in his description. It's not. We think of below Lotto? Where are we thinking we put in it though, chat? I'm thinking we put it above bargain tag, below Vlado. Def above bargain? I, I, think, I think that's a... Mid B? No, it's, it's not a... It, bro, you don't focus this bubble whatsoever. Wait, why is this that bad? It's a, it's a small modifier. It's a, it's a very small modifier. You forget about it, and, and it's not worth the spices. It's not worth to level up the spices. And you gotta realize, chat, your spice gain is trash. Your spice gain is absolutely trash until late game. Spices suck, dude. Spices are, spices are arguably one of the hardest things to get. Because they just, they're so, so incredibly time-gated, and they don't get crazy until you have Converter Pet. Spices are almost, and also, the new enhancement for V-Man with the, with the Beastmaster makes this even more negligible. Doesn't he get crazy points of millions of spices? Oh, congrats, dude. Or mice, rather. Only reason it isn't F tier is because it's shiny bonus. Yeah, the only reason why it's spells are still better than salts, in my opinion. No, dude, you're... No, nah, no. Nah, hard disagree. Hard disagree. Bro, we're late game, and salts come a dime a dozen. Spices are so hard to get still. They are so incredibly hard to even, even get, even to this day. Crazy, dude. It's even worse. It's even worse mid game and early game. Even, even worse. Even worse. Twenty five percent. See, it seems strong. It's, it's not. It's, it's not like a multiplier. It's not a multiplying percent. It's an, it's an additive percent. It doesn't give you like takes a quarter of your breed and then chunks it by a quarter. So because this is a small modifier, it doesn't get doubled. Not only that, it requires spices, which is arguably one of the hardest resources to get into the game. This is purely a luxury bubble. For that reason, I put it below Lotto, top of bargain, in the C tier. Not going to spend your tags here. Like, are equally as hard to get. I mean, Diamond Plate won't be S because it takes spice. No, that's different. That's different. It's egg incubation. We're talking about egg incubators here. We're not talking about meal speed. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. Speaking of which, we have Diamond Chef, which is a multiplier that makes faster meal and fire kitchen speed for every meal at 11 plus. So this means your cooking speed is absolutely gets juiced from this. But it does cost beach dock salts.
This is one of your biggest snowballs in cooking. Until you have enough plates in order to get V-Man enhancements. Even at a low level, this is still really good. You will literally focus all of your pets and your foraging pets to focus on the beach dock salts. You will literally build a build for a whale build specifically for this. And you will use bargain tags every single day until you can level this up. This is insane. It's a godforsaken cost, but it's so, so, so incredibly strong. It's very, very strong. 110%, but it is beach dock salts. Anybody that says low B, they're relying on V-Man, and they, 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 they don't realize how strong Diamond Chef really is. There's a reason why I have it at level 500. There's a reason why I have it at low. That scaling is terrible. Okay, so this scaling is not as bad as it seems because you got to realize that it gets that percent, that times per, 11, per level 11 meals, okay? So it just keeps on stacking and stacking and stacking and scales and scales and scales and you start getting massive. I'm 76 Diamond Chef with 1.26 and you're only 1.29. How's the scaling good? Because of the level 11 plates. The level and level plates is what makes this. You literally take, you literally go out of your way and cooking to make sure that your, all your plates are at least level 11. It's the same as going into your vials and making sure they're all level 4 for shaman damage. It's the same thing. It's that, it's that compound investment. And if you check out idle on efficiency, it shows the multiplies up of the value, and it's way, way bigger. Here, I'll show you. Just to, just to give you guys an idea here. Just, just to give you guys an idea of how strong Diamond Chef actually is. That's my actual speed. Because of Diamond Chef. That's the extra speed times percent that I get from that because of Diamond Chef. That is a massive multiplier. That's an insane multiplier. Disgusting. Are you telling me that that's not strong? How is that not strong? Even in early game chat, even in early game, level 76 will give you 1.26 times. That's still huge. That's still, still massive. You can get a, just a small couple of levels on this and it's still a fantastic multiplier. Sure, it scales like trash earlier or later game, but it's still so, so, so strong. The fact that you even make a build based around farming beach dog salts just for this bubble's sole fact Makes it S tier. S tier. What's your cooking speed at now? It's like, it's like, uh, almost E30, I think. E30, I think. Low to mid S. It's S tier regardless. Not hard cap G. It's okay. You can leave it in the comment section. Diamond Chef's S tier. How's this S tier, but not Mr. Massacre? Okay, so Mr. Massacre gives you multi-kill per tier. Kitchen Speed gives you damage percent, uh, gives you scale of skill efficiency, uh, gives you shiny chance, gives you breeding incubator, gives you talent library refresh. Uh, the list goes on. Shall we continue? Crit chance. This, you need crit chance in order to hit 300 200%. VIP library percent. Like, what are we talking about here? What we, we're literally comparing a big bubble compared to a bubble that literally makes the rest of the freaking cooking even feasible. This is, this is, this is cooking's one of the cooking's biggest upgrades in the game. Okay. This is easy. You literally neglect the, you literally neglect the fourth kitchen to get this. That's how strong it is. 
You neglect everything to make sure that you get this done. And although it says it's like 1.26 to 1.28, it multiplies on itself. So it's actually way bigger than what the description tells you. But you don't, I need to get it to 1267. 1,267 is the max for Diamond Chef, and I'm actually planning on getting it maxed. This is 100% a fantastic bubble. It's, it's, it's literally, you literally in a cooking guide, you would farm out eggs, and then you would farm out corn dogs for a little bit, and then you get cabbage, and then you get Diamond Chef, and then you work on getting all level 11 plates. Because of this bubble. This is your next big, this is your hugest mid-game snowball. This is how you snowball. Hundred and ten percent. I'll die on this hill. I'll die on this hill that Diamond Chef is S tier. And also bargain tags makes it a huge. Yo, grats, dude. All right. We have next one chat. Notice card champ. Card champ gives you a percentage. Per, uh, card champ get. Card Champ gives you a card drop chance for all card types, even party dungeon cards. And it requires the purple salts. This is a stupidly expensive bubble for what it gives you. This is stupidly expensive. This is, this is like... Beast cards are still good? Bro. <laughs> Bro, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? It's It's... It's 77%. Bro, your star talent, your star talent gives you more than that. It's not linear. Your star talent gives you more than that. You're grinding cards right now, and look what level card champ's at. Dude, how many okay, put a one in chat if you actually have this spice unlocked. And that right there tells me that all you guys are not thinking at a 99% standpoint. Literally none of you are thinking at a 99% standpoint. You guys are not 99%. You guys are not 99%. You guys are 10%. You guys are 10% of the player base. I said zero though. We are the 100%. I'm about 45%. Most of the early ones weren't based on 99% though. Yes, they were. It's worth putting a few into. Yeah, it's not F tier. Yeah, it's for sure not A. It's for sure not F tier. They're ma no, like the night. So like the 99% and then you have the 1% and then you have the you have the 10% which is on their way to the 1%. It's the 10% within the 99%. So this spice unlock started playing before world five yeah exactly people are saying it's f tier oh and stat check for real because our discord makes up almost half the idol on population how are we not 99 percent? not even close flintstone not even close 99 percent wouldn't even have this bubble unlocked to the point where you actually have this bubble unlocked okay obviously we have to take it at that standpoint by the time you get this bubble once you have the spice not you're not using it on this you ain't using it on this, dude. You unlock this bubble, you should have the spice. Yeah, but you're not going to be spending points on this. You are not going to be spending any points on this. This is literally no bubble left behind. What cards? Dude. What are you using them on? Kitchen 5? Absolutely. I have the bubble, but not the spice. If you don't, then you're bad. Go to your pet files. Purifier, that's not helping. Dude? No, dude. I think this, I think this is low C. I think, I think, if anything, right behind sample it. I, I, it, it's, 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 or, or it's either, it's, no, if, if anything, it's probably going to be just below ink, egg ink. I think, I think probably like egg ink at, at most. 
Cut this bubble at the same time you get salt, even if you aren't using salt on this bubble. Worst B. I'd go above Lotto, to be honest. Because I got Dune, I don't have the spice. And chat, this is the same as cardiovascular. This is the same as the star talent. Wait, I think star, star talent is cardiovascular. This is the same as the VMAD talent. This is the same as the stamp. It's not a multiplier. It is a additive percent. It's not a multiplier. I mean, I agree. This bubble is mid at best. And it's, a, it's, one, it's one of the more expensive salts. Let's take a quick look here. I want, I want to take a quick look. I want, I want to see where, where, is, where is this exactly located in, in, the, in the salt list. Or spice list, I should say. So this is three above beach docks. So this is the crypts. This is the crypts of where this shows up. Yeah, man, it's, it's not great. It's the dupe battle, it is accessible, it is accessible, but I mean, it's not something, it's not something you're going to prioritize. Sure, it's card drop chance, but it's not, it's not a super strong card drop chance, everything else is technically stronger. This is, this is, this is quite weak, and the scaling is even worse. Between this and the cost one, which do you think the 99 will f level first? Definitely not this one. They would forget about it. I didn't pay attention to this bubble until late game. Hard to beat for somebody with early builds. Yeah, I'm 100% in agreements on this. Now, so you're not going to change my mind on this chat. It's C tier. Where do we place it in C tier? Where are we placing it on C tier? Above luck. Def above egg. Highest or second highest C. Back dab in the middle. Bottom. I would say I I would say it goes above bargain. I would say it goes at least above bargain. C for card chance. Yeah, there you go, dude. I never level this above Lotto for sure. That's a but but like I don't know, man. I kind of disagree. I feel like Lotto's still better than this. Because you you have a lot of leftover thread, anyways. If you're if you're if you're farming out smithing early game, you get a ton of thread. Need eggs to farm the spice, so below egg. That was a good point. Alright, here's where I'm going to put it. So because it's from the crypts, and it is an expensive spice, and it is an additive, it is not a multiplicative bonus. You're not going to really pay attention to this till late game anyways. As an early to mid game player, you're just going to look over this bubble and focus on other bubbles anyways. So I'm going to put it right above bargain tag in C tier. Let's move on to the next one here, Jet. Next one we have is dropping loads, which gives us a percent drop rate. And it requires goldfish. What do we think on this one? What do we think on this one? We really think we really think drop rate is S tier? Yo, what's up, Sleepy? Yo, thank you for the primary for the two months, dude. B? Yo, thank you, dude. No, I always care about drop rate. Top A, that's multiplied by Siege Breaker talent. Amount of drop rate is pretty low. It's only, it's only like, what? How, mu how much do I get right now? 34%? 
Naji, honestly, I think you're not thinking 99. I am, dude. I am. Th this would be this would be way different. This would be way different if I was thinking one percent. Mr. Massacre would be S tier. Diamond Chef Larry would stay the same. Card Champ would be A tier. Uh, the the Cogs would be A tier. Would help a lot to get leveled. Somewhere we need to get our drop card raid from, so we'll take it from DR, dude. This is overall. Smile. Mostly 99% we're trying to focus. You actually get around 40% with Siege Breaker, the bubble alone. Many buffs of DR comparable to this? I would say, I would say it's A tier. I wouldn't necessarily say it's S tier. Pissed the same buff as max out PO drop, drop rate box. All right, let's do another pull. I th I personally think it's like middle of A. It's right behind Killer Massacre. Only cost the lowest tier fish. True. True. It's pretty small. I mean, point three is a lot for like... Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Is this it is? But I mean, it's... It's... It uh, does have a daily stream. It's free DR. Super cheap. You're going to load it up. This is more important than Massacre because the multi-kill bonus, you actually need to have damage. Most players don't. Also cost, yeah, also cost Goldfish. And, P and, and to be fair, people are going to have a lot of Goldfish because they're going to be farming Bloaches. So since they're going to be hard farming Bloaches, this is not an hourly upgrade. No. Bulls heavy into A, though. I, I, could, I could do top the pack A tier. Because it, it scales super quickly. Super, super quick eight. I, mean, I, I think it scales super quickly to get to 30%. Super, super easy to get to 30%. And you're going to want to hard focus this anyways, because you're going to be farming mostly bloaches. And you'll just get a ton of goldfishes while you're trying to farm out those bloaches. You know what? I agree with that. And it's, it's only like the second bubble. It's literally the second bubble. It's actually worse. It's it's it it's not that good later game because of the scaling wise, but I mean early game, it, it builds up pretty quickly. Alright. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I could agree with that. So because dropping loads only costs goldfish, although the scaling is garbage, early game it actually scales really fast. And since you're spending most of your time farming bloaches for shackercy anyways, you're already gonna have a ton of goldfish as you do it. So in an early game to mid game standpoint, this is going to be a very easy bubble to cap out. So top the A tier, Killer Massacre becomes stronger later game. But as an mid to as an early to mid game, you're going to want to level this up to thirty percent pretty much instantly. And not to mention with mid to early game, you don't really get that much drop rate anyway. So you want to get all the little bit of drop rate you can. But this is pretty much like thirty percent. I think we're all okay. I think we're fair with this. I think this is fine. I think this is okay. I'm okay with being top of the A just above Mr. Massacre. That's that's gonna be pretty controversial though. The next one, chat, is called Petting the Rift, which gives you a percent shiny chance per every new rift level you reach, and it costs blobfish. Fucking C tier. <laughs> this is fucking C tier. This is hard C tier. C tier, maybe even F. It's a, it's a super, it's a pretty, okay, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out, okay? Hear me out. Just, just let me cook for a second. Highest tier trapping in the game. Not only that, it's for Rift. Rift is super, super brutal. Not only that, 
By the time you get to a point where you can actually use and abuse this, you'll pretty much have a one-to-one -one shiny chance anyways. You're never ever going to really focus this one. This must be a newer bubble because I don't remember this one. It was originally um, new pet odd chance per every gap you traversed in the rift. That's what it used to be. That's what it used to be. Am I right on that one? Am I right about that other bubble? It was, it was increased pet chance, right? Something like that? I don't think it came out like that, though. No, it changed. I remember, because, because Rift didn't, didn't came, come out for so long. Pet chance for Rift. By the time you unlock this, you already have some Rift levels too. I am Rift 16. I do not have this bubble yet. The chances of you having enough shiny chance anyways makes this almost negligible. You're pretty much at one-to-one -one regardless. There has to be an F for there to be an S. Bottom B, who has a lot of Rift progress. Yeah, but we can't go off a lot of Rift progress because a lot of Rift progress is a 99%. No, is it? Say this is lower than discount, but discount one, but still C, not F. Not me. Rip 25, my shiny chance sure is 1 out of 1, yet anything for the easiest. Uh, yet anything but the easiest. Got a lot of rip progress, 100% shiny already. This bubble isn't 99%. This is th this is a ten percent bubble. This uh this is a ten percent bubble. This isn't a ninety nine percent bubble. This is for sure a ten percent bubble. I don't think it goes any higher than C tier. It's either C tier or F tier. You just leave this at level one. Don't waste blobs on this. Save for lab XP vial. C. This isn't for the common mortal playing for the game for sure. I'm at rip zero. It can be slightly useful when you're first unlock shinies, but otherwise it's met any other time. But by the time you unlock shinies, you have so much shiny chance from other sources that this becomes negligible. You can almost argue that you don't want no bubble left behind to hit this. Wait, hold up. One sec. Wait, chat. Did I get a bubble messed up? The one with the Y. The Y with the money, and then the double bubble with the money. So, like, this one right here, and this one right here. Did I get these two messed up? I don't think I did. Did I? Yeah, dude, I missed numerals. No, I didn't. Which one's this one, then? Undeveloped costs. That's right. Okay, undeveloped costs. All right, all right, all right. No, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah, bring back Roman numerals for sure, dude. For sure. Now, okay, back back to what we we're talking about. If anything, bottom C, bottom C, if not F. I want to put this at F. I really do. I I would say just ignore this. I would I would say hard ignore. I think you can put this one in F. All right. I think TP deserves F spot, so I keep this lowest C. TP's great. What do you mean? TP's solid. I think it's useful for new players. Melon. You, you, useful for new players? This is not a new player bubble. This is, this is literally, this is literally like a late, late game bubble. <laughs> Be better, not really sure. But as of this point in time, we do not have world five points. 100% keeping this bubble. Okay. So petting the rift, it costs blobfish. It's 
not really that good because a it's such a later game bubble because you're pushing rift and by the time you're going to unlock shinies before this and you're going to get so much shiny chance from a lot of other sources that this is not going to really benefit you anyways so this is a bubble that you just leave at level one just once you unlock this bubble pass it move on go to the next one this is trash All right, next one, chat. Bodie Bubbles. Bodie Bubbles gives you sailing speed for all your boats, but it also costs bits, so it is not atomable. It's impossible to atom. What do we think about this one? This is a decent bubble. This is a solid bubble. This is a very, very solid bubble. This is this is this is like a priority bubble. As good as the cog bubble, I think. Better. This is be this is better. Good as cog B. I don't even have this bubble. Good early, but it falls off due to the cost. True, it does. I'm jealous of the bubble. Top A, top B. Why are you saying A? Oh, Chad. No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Did I say A? I meant. I meant B. I meant top top of the pack B. Yeah, it's top of the pack B. It's a really good bubble, but it, but it's it's unatomable. You cannot atom it, and the scale if with bits is incredible, incredibly high, insanely high. It is very valuable early game. Absolutely. It's either bottom A, top B. Bottom A, top B, easily. It's like it's like B plus. I would say I would say top. I I personally top B. Top B, personally. Kind of off topic, but I'm trying to unlock TE16 going into 17. I don't have a code for my trophies. There's something I'm missing. Um, did you do... Did you redeem all the previous ones? Top B, top B. B for Bodhi and Bubble. B plus sounds like a bottom A. B stands for top of bottom A. So Bodhi Bubble is actually really solid for early game. Uh, sailing just because of the extra sailing speed uh, but it scales incredibly quickly and it's not possible to ever add them and once you kind of hit that cap you're you're kind of kind of done so for that reason you know it is it, almost in the a tier but i would put it top of b it is incredibly important sailing we cannot disagree on that but it definitely deserves top of b you should you still should prioritize this this is close to a I would give this more like a B plus. Next one we have, chat. We have Big P. Now, Big P gives you a multiplier bonus from all your minor links of your gods that you're linked to divinity. So it's just a bigger god passive. And it requires the first sailing material. And it's a big bubble, so it has to be equipped. What do you think? I, I, I think it's, I, I think it's S tier. For sure. For sure, S. This is, so, now the reason why I think it, it's S, yeah, hear, hear me, hear me out. Hear me out, okay? Hear me out. Hear me out. It doesn't start scaling hard until late Divinity. You need a lot of divinity to make this really good, though. You need, you, need, you need quite a bit of divinity. But this also means more talent points, more damage percent, more skill XP. Whatever god you're using, this will increase the minor bonus. It's even more defense and accuracy. And it starts off super cheap. 
But at the same time, most people are going to be running GOAT, but that means also more AFK gains. This is so late game, huge C. It's a B, very weak bonus until super late. S tier for Duders in endgame. Uh, yeah. I'm in, I'm in agreements. I, I agree. I, 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 this is such a, this is such a late game bubble. Like, even, even for scaling wise, like, this doesn't get good until like level 80 divinity. So it'd be late game anyways. I'm talking late game as in like, you have high skills. High, high skills. Early late game? It's, it's concerned early late game bubble. Yes. It's an early late game. You want to upgrade other bubbles over this every time? Once you have this bubble unlocked, you'll be able to level up a decent bit. That is true. That is true. You will be able to instantly level this up a decent bit. So, even if it's hard to fit into equips. Yeah, true. True. Not all players have sheepy and won't really equip it. The majority of players won't equip it, yes, but I mean, I had it always equipped. I'll get it. You kind of need, yeah, you do need that. You, you do need the third bubble slot. You know what? I agree with that. I agree with that. Here's, here's where I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, they, 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 you're going to call me crazy. You're going to call me crazy. But I know where we're going to put it. I know where we're going to put it. So, although this is a multiplier, and it does help with bonus of the minor of your gods. There's a bunch of things that require for this, such as the third bubble slot, because it pretty much goes into the third. It scales okay, but you're not going to really be focusing on the first island. You're going to be focusing on artifacts. So by the time that you actually get to a point where you actually use this, you're going to be probably early to mid-late game. So for all those reasons and that reason alone, I'm going to be putting it at the top of the pack B tier. If it's late game, it's hard S easily s but because of where we're basing this where we're basing this tier list off of top of the pack b tier oh i just haven't been listening to pickle i haven't been listening to pickle i don't even know is it insanity i'll come back to b tier amen yeah, you might as well, you might as well leave it, you might as well come back and, uh, you know, make sure to chat, leave a comment in the YouTube video, telling me of how you feel about this yellow bubble tier list, you know what I'm saying? Go, go ahead and do it up, do it up, see what happens. Honestly, Sailing Bubble will do way more than Big P early on, yeah, but even still, it's, it's just still a, still a really good, still a really good one. But should it be better than Giant Equip 1? No, because you can get the Giant Equip 1 so much earlier. You gotta realize Big P is like... Big P is bubble number 22. She lost all his credibility with this one, thankfully his last bubble tier list. Yeah, true. I mean, if I lose credibility for this, hey, it's fine. I'm alright. Big P is luxury. Big P is luxury. It's 100% luxury. Big P isn't a necessary. It's, it's a luxury. Once you have it, it'll be a big priority. Not even, not even a massive priority, to be honest. Uh, yeah, honestly, they gotta take your eye line. I'm okay with that. Yeah, G is so cap. It's not even funny on this one. Uh, it's not cap, bro. I mean, G doesn't require to equip a bubble, right? Yeah, but we don't base this off of companions. All right, chat. Next one we have is bit by bit. Which gives you 30 <laughs> bit by bit, which gives you a percent more bits earned in the gaming per plant found, as shown as the logbook. What are we thinking? What are we thinking?
And it also cost dandelion logs. I wish I had this bubble. This is a solid bubble. This is a really good bubble. But it is, it is pretty much. This isn't as good. It starts getting good once you have a high enough logbook. Once you have a once you have a super high logbook, this gets really good. Should be leveling this now that I have T6. Yep. Forty two times. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Forty two times multiplier. Are you are you comparing this to snail? Because if you're comparing it to snail, that's Bro, you need bit by bit in order even to get potentially close to snail. Feature. Snail nugget shell. Snail is a late game... Dude, snail's late game gaming. If big P is B, this is mid B. Talking from a... This is... What do you get? Plants game? Have you ever reached that point yet? It's world 5. Because once you unlock it, it'll be a big boost to gaming. Logbook is important precisely because of this bubble. Yeah. It really is. It really, really, really is. Colors have we done? Every single one except yellow, which we're doing right now. Plus, bits aren't used for a whole ton. Okay, Pickle obviously hasn't done super bits enough. Pickle obviously doesn't know what super bits are. I'm thinking this is B tier. Well, Pickle's the same account progress as you? Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah, I know. Super Bits gives you like three good things, that's it. Yeah, I can already name more. Binary speed, total damage percent, total XP, skill XP, uh, not to mention, uh, I just did. I just, I just did. Not to mention cooking speed. What about the cooking speed? Hey, Pickle, name 10 books. Alright? Name 10 books. Cooking speed, damage, and scaling. Oh, that's so cute, Pickle. You haven't unlocked the other ones. Oh, no wonder you don't know. Anyways, let's continue. Too busy playing Hearthstone. Too busy playing Hearthstone. So. <clears throat> what are we thinking here, chat? Close to Big P? If anything, I think it's above Big P. Do you want me to be completely honest? I think it's above Big P. I can't watch anymore. Thank God. Small bubble so you can see it so I can see it above Big P. Yeah. No, it, no it's not S. No, it's not S. It's a good multiplier, but I ain't like a Giga Juicer multiplier. You know what I mean? A tier, but Big P should still be above it? No. Hard disagree. Big P is S tier late game. But you have to get it late game first. Guys! Guys! Guys, please think of this not as your account. Put yourselves in shoes of people just unlocking these bubbles. Where are they? Where are they when they unlock these bubbles? You aren't? I am. I am, though. I am. Because if I was thinking on my standpoint, if I was thinking at my standpoint, Big P would have been S tier. Big P would have been already at S tier. Big Game Hunter, S tier. Mr. Massacre, S tier. All of those would have been S tier. After syringes. Yeah, your base.
based on when you unlock them eventually. Think about the 99 per People of the great Eilon community have spoken. So you'd farm those logs to level it? I did farm those logs to level it, actually. Consider Dute and Big P as top S, dude. Where were you when G put Big P in B tier? It's good for super late game. Danny logs are solid week or two for World 5 for a normal player. Yep. Big P is better than this. Screw it. Everything becomes S tier. Early enough to uh, above Big P, there's no way I have enough logs to really level it. You can see a lowest A, highest B. So you'll be needing bits bad and already have some Danny logs to level this up. Big P is a lot easier to level up than most of the early. Yeah, but it's the scaling, guys. The scaling. The multiplier of the Big P bubble takes forever to scale. It's 1.45 times at over 500. 500 levels. And it's one of the most expensive bubbles to add them. What are we talking about here? I really have another place to use those rocks frequently. It's like five times bit multi when you unlock it. Still good before then. Multi, you're not gonna, unless you have the third alchemy bubble, you're not going to use Big P, but we've moved on. Move on, chat. You want me to make a command for the tier list? Uh, I mean, you can if you want, smile. You can go ahead. B tier, send it. C tier, think B tier for 10%. I could agree on better than Big P. Low A. Shit sucks, throw in C. Well, that's why you don't have your MSA big super bits unlocked. C Doom Basher, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I was thinking of putting it right underneath, I was thinking of putting it right underneath Bodhi, Bodhi Bubble for sailing. More super up its upgrades than you? No, you don't. So this is behind the scenes of the Chris vids. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. I make I make it seem way better than what it is. How many do you have? Oh my god. Here we go, dude. I'm missing. We're both missing five. Okay, what level is your snail? Pickle has even more bubbles unlocked, dude. Nine. Thirteen. Imagine only having nine. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Yeah, but level your green salts. I'm playing this hardcore mode, alright? I'm playing a completely different game than everybody else, okay? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it means I have more potential for growth. Same. Big P is F tier for early game, and for people without pets, this is always good. Pickle's closer to us 99%. Yeah, true. True, but he still doesn't know what he's talking about. Caps on plant tiers, not on plant times, right? Yeah, it's plant tiers. Yeah, caps on plant tiers. All right, we're moving on from this. Here's what I think, okay? Bit by bit is a percentage that increases per plant tier and all the plants you have are locked for the log book. But at the same time, its scaling is not as crazy as you think it is, and it does take a little bit longer to ramp up. So for that reason, and it's Danny Lux. So I will put it right below Bodhi Bubbles in B tier. All right, let's move on to the next one. Another mods are going to strike after this? Nah. Eh. It's in agreements. Next one. We have... 
gifts abound, which gives you a percent chance to not use up divinity points when offering a gift, and it requires dust motes. F tier, move on. F tier, move on, dude. Wait, 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 what did Pickle say? I legitimately, with no exaggeration at all, believe I know more about Island than everybody in this channel chat combined. Combined? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Mr. 2.6K Wiz. Who won the trivia? You won because everyone else cheated. Yeah, we literally have Zelb and Rodok both in chat. Uh, last time I checked, the trivia questions were based on, like, name 10 trophies. Name 10 books, you know? It wasn't like, it wasn't like, give us, give us this systematical mathematical equation of how to get the best, best bit multi in the game. Okay. We weren't, we weren't, we weren't talking about how do you get the highest efficiency to get the highest log prints. We are literally talking about, I know 10 trophies. What are we saying here? Why you treat Zelb like a messiah? I'm pretty sure I have a bigger log print than them. Okay, Pickle's actually trolling. Okay, pick. Okay, Pickle. I'm, 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 I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you, with no exaggeration, and and without without capping whatsoever. This man needs to be fucking humbled. All right. This man needs to be hard humbled. F to your sins before you start leveling this bubble, you're already halfway through the gods. Actually, Canadian have the biggest logs I've heard. Yeah, true. This tier list is a 24 hour video now. Every tier list happens, dude. I, I knew, I literally knew this. I knew yellow bubble was going to be the worst. I knew, I knew that purple cauldron was going to be pretty bad. Orange cauldron wants to be too bad. Green cauldron wants to be too bad. But I knew, I knew for a fact, for a fact, that yellow bubble is going to be the worst. And I'm right. I am fucking right on this. Your worst take was Big P. It doesn't. It doesn't ramp up till till late game. What are you talking about? So 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 uh, uh, of course, of course, everybody has level eighty divinity. Of course. But of course, everybody has level 80, 80 divinity. Yes, we just take the assumption. Everybody has every god unlocked, for instance. Every god unlocked for Big Peep. They, get, they, get, they have level 80 divinity. So they have all that. A level 80 is not hard. You're right, but it's time-gated. It's time-gated. This is what you're not understanding. So... What does it matter before level 80 divinity? Because it's not that strong until you have a high divinity level. All you do is claim and wait. And we all have dude. True, we do all have dude. Uh, yep, everyone has level 80 divinity. Farming first island only has three big bubble slots. Yeah, big true. Why does it matter if it's not strong until a certain point? That's the point of the fucking tier list! That's... are you... You've been here since the beginning. I went over. I literally went over how we were discussing this. This tier list 
is specifically to help people what to prioritize on. This is the whole point. This is a guide in between a tier list for the people that are progressing through the worlds. Have you not been here for any of the other tier lists? The tier list would have been completely, completely skewed. Completely skewed if we went from an end game standpoint. If we, if we, if we went from an end game standpoint, so many bubbles would already be S tier. We make this tier list public. I'm pretty sure it already is public. Forgot what to prioritize. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My brain hurts. It's okay. Public gain, I want to make my own. Big P is A. Tier list equals priority list. Not A, like as high C, I would say, because catching is hard to level. S tier. Okay, let, let's go back to what we were talking about for gifts abound. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. For gifts abound, going to be hard honest with you. I forgot this existed. I didn't even know this existed. Realistically. And it competes with multi-tool stamp. That is very, very good. It's not important for what it does and becomes useless. B is good for non-max divinity. I would say this is low C. Low C. I don't think it's necessarily F tier. I don't think it's F tier. I think it's C tier. This is not something you want to focus on. This is not something you want to focus on. Are you telling me that you'd rather level up this bubble than level up multi-tool stamp? And it's only good if it procs. It's a, it's a low percentage, okay? We're not talking like 50%. We're talking like 20% at best. Maybe 15%. Yeah, you're paying a lot of high-end mats for a fairly infrequent RNG proc. So. Here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm going to say for Gifts Abound. Since it is the very last, second to last bubble you are going to unlock. And it gives you a small percentage for a very infrequent proc. That gives that also costs dust motes, which is arguably going headbutting against multi tool stamp, which is arguably multi tool stamp is 10 billion times better. I'm going to put this low C tier right above bargain tag. It's not a priority. It's not a priority. All right, moving on. At least it's lower than card. Yeah, I mean, it's lower than card. Look at idle chat. Holy shit, what's going on in idle chat? This is so wrong on so many levels. I, I, can't even, I can't even begin to start how wrong this was. Zelb, are you going to sit here and take this? This is not even a shot to me. This is a shot to Zelb, dude. Dude, I bet Zelv is just asleep by now. Zelv's just like, yeah, this, uh, this this tier list doesn't have anything to do with me. Just pickles demise, dude. God damn it. This is this is this is this is why nothing gets done. Alright, we have bubble number 25, which also is which is called Atom Split. 
And it gives percentage low particle cost for all upgrading atoms that cost tremor worms. This is late game. Really, chat? I think this is above the other two in C. It's a late, late game. Pop C. Rather love the vial with meat. No. Yeah. I mean, this is... Yeah, you're, you're really competing with the vial as well here too, Chet. You're competing with the vial that is arguably way better. Bottom C. Pop C. Last material and reduction is in seen until higher costs. It's a multiplicative discount with other discounts like construction, mirror shop, Adam Clare, Vial. This is Garbo. Yeah, it is. Should put a few points and leave it alone below egg incubator and card drop. The time it's insanely late, freaking weeks before materials alone. Top C. It's not a prio, but it's still good to have a level up, no bubble left behind. I vote F tier, be honest. You don't want this at level one. I wouldn't put this at level one. This isn't deserving of keeping level one. Because even 5% is better than no percent. While hard caps before 13, the scaling's dog. I don't have the mats or atoms yet. I think this is C tier. I think this is I think this is C tier. Well, it may not be in your eyes, Brother Thermal, but it says F, keep it at level one. F tier stands for keep it at level one. Yeah, it's still bad. The scaling is still garbanzio. Scaling's trash, dude. I think I but the real question is, is it above or below gifts? Uh is it is it above or below gifts abound? That's a massive be wasted as an upgrade would exceed how much it costs if it wasn't leveled up. I go below discount. Gotta be better than gifts, right? We're not even on there yet. Oh wait, gifts abound, yeah. Atoms are just so important. Oh, so yeah, it's six thousand yeah, six thousand four hundred and ten. Above, below. Honestly, I think it's below. I think it's below gifts. So here's what I'll say. Because Atom Split is a Omega late bubble. Like, this is one of the latest bubbles that you'll get. Not to mention, even trying to farm out enough Tremor Worms and versing the level 13 Tremor Worm meat vial, you're literally, you're literally fighting between the two. And honestly, the other vial is way better than this. You're not going to want to farm this out. Not to mention, it's really hard to get base materials for... Tremor Worms, no matter how hard you farm, unless you're super, super late game. Not to mention the discount scale is garbage, and you have to be a high atom level to even really abuse this. Also, if you want to atom it, it's 6,410 atoms at 1 billion, just so you guys know. So for that reason, that reason alone, it's C. It's not a priority. It's just something that you'll just end up doing late game. All right. Now, this next bubble is Statue XP. Okay. We're almost done, chat. We're almost done. We got. We got to start. We got to start. We got to start boosting this up a little bit. We got to be a little bit faster here. Uh. Starchu EXP, which leveling up a statue resets its XP, XP bar down to percent instead of zero percent, and it costs sand from sandy pots to level. This is this is A tier, easy A tier. 
This is, it may not be high A tier, but it's A tier. Doesn't do much early, but late game, it's thousands of statues. Even, even, even when you can't farm a lot of statues in, in early game and mid game, it's, it's, you're still saving hundreds and hundreds of, literally hundreds and hundreds of statues. Farm sandy pots anyways for glass shards. He wants a progression in the stamp. Yeah, this this is this is huge. This is a big bubble. You, I I would say I would say I would say a bottom a, bottom a for sure, dude. Not to mention the time to farm them. I wouldn't say this is great. More like mess. So high beat. Now bottom a hard bottom a. Refuse to farm statues without Chaco. Seems like a scale's kind of bad too. You could always level the snakeskin vial instead of this. What? Wait, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, Pickle. Those are, those are, those are, those are totally two different situations. You have snake vials, and you have statues. One is times two statues, the other one is reducing the percentage need to level up the statue. What do we... You okay, Pickle? You okay, man. <laughs> you all right. You, you, you cool? I don't see how it's different. We done? Can we continue? <laughs> Can we continue? <laughs> Pickles, Pickles hard trolling, dude. Pickles cementing himself. Pickles cementing himself <coughs> as the IBA meme. So, start you. Or start you exp is a solid overall bubble. This is this will over time, even in early, mid, and even late game, will save you hundreds to thousands to hundreds of thousands worth of statues. This is easily an easable, easily scalable bubble, super cheap, and you're gonna be farming glass shards anyway, so you're gonna have tons of sand anyways. So, where's the bottom of the pack eight here? Now, next one. Change big P? No, big P staying. Unless you can, unless you can give me a perfectly reasonable argument to change big P, I'm not changing it. Big P is good. Big P is good, but not till late game. All right, chat, we have a big bubble known as a level up gift. Whenever you level up anything, you have a percent chance to drop a gift. This could be an XP balloon, it could be a gem, or it could be something like fun flags if you're farming specifically at fishing. Or, you know, the potential chance of getting the stamp, which is the card drop chance stamp. This is an early game bubble. You, so you, you want to use this early game, but do you want to level it? Also requires crab cakes base material. Yes, it also gives you the Sukafu stamp.
which is not that great. But it is a big bubble, so it needs to be equipped, so it's not as good. Here's what I would put it. Here's where I would put it, chat. I would put it bottom of the pack B tier. When you're going to far when you're farming skilling levels, or if you're farming class levels. But it but it's but it's it it be it becomes completely pointless later game. It is literally the most useless thing later game. You get like one gem per level. Okay, and you get like one XP balloon. The bonuses that you get from Easy Gift, not to mention, 90% of the time, you're getting a birthday card. You're, the, the times you ever get a time candy is like 5%. 5% of the time, you'll get a time candy. Less than 5% is a small percentage chance. And, not to mention, it's not a 100% chance of getting a gift per level up. Honestly, this is really only decent with Sheepy and early game. Other than that, it's kind of dog. They change with bubble level. Out of a thousand levels. Yeah, I've got multiple four four candies out of a thousand levels. Still think it's stronger than cog speed, but I'm fine with bottom B. I still think cog no cog B no the thing is, Purifier is cog is still useful. Cog still becomes more useful later the game, anyways. Level up gift does not. Level up gift becomes literally pointless after a point in time. Need this right until you get all unique stuff and you no longer have room. Cog farming pretty useful forever, to be honest. Yeah. I, pff, man, if it was, if it, was, I, I use this to farm fun flags. So I mean, How many people here actually have fun flags? A very, very small percentage. Very, very, very small percentage. You have two elemental mages, which wormhole emperor skill takes effect? Your highest one. So the one the one that has more kills. What are fun flags? A fun flags is like a what 0.2% drop? That is a lure that's for plus slab that only drops while fishing skills. While you're skilling fishing. It's specifically fishing. The only thing that you would use this is for the stamps, realistically. And if slab, if you're really trying to farm slab. So you have to level fishing for a chance? Yep. For specifically fun flags? Yes. This also does the... This also is, this is also for a questing one as well, uh, for Goldrick. Goldrick's quest for the uh, criminal box, I think. I think it's the not criminal box. And also birthday hat. So here's what I'm gonna say. I I I, ha I have my I have my finalized. It's not required for the quest, but it's for plus one slab. So for level up gift, I would say. It's a fairly cheap material. It's a fairly early bubble, but it is a big bubble. This is used for early game to mid game and if you're farming fun flags late game for leveling up and getting specific slab items and stamps. The fact that you get stamps from it like Fuka, uh, Fukasu, which is boss damage, and also the card, card, card drop chance stamp, which are also very, very, very strong. But it's also a very, very low percent chance, and it says it gives you gems and XP balloons, but it, the chance, it's lower than 
so honestly, it's... I would give it the top of the C tier. The reason being is it actually just becomes completely useless late game. So it's... Or even, even mid game if you get lucky enough. So basically, you're going to be equipping this just to have that percent chance to possibly get it. Not to mention you have to have it at a higher level in order to get different loot drops. So top the pack C tier. Free gems late game. What do you mean? With we're not we're not counting sheepy. This is not this is no companions. Sheepy sheepy is not considered in this tier list. But Sheepy. Even with Sheepy, don't help. You said it was worthless late game? Bro, you get like one gem. One gem. And that's a percent chance to get it. It's a, such a low, low, low percent chance. And late game, small balloons don't mean jack shit. They do, they, they don't, they don't even... And how often are y'all late game players leveling up? Not very, not very quickly. That's for sure. Not very quickly at all. Even with Sheepy with Grandma's birthday wish, it gets annoying real quick, real fast. We're getting 11th character to 20th character slots. But, but we're not basing that off. We're basing of what we have right now. Not if it's going to be better in the future. Of what we have. There's no 11th character, there's no 12th character, 13, 14, so that's irrelevant. Next one, chat. We have Prowessy. Prowessy gives you a prowess bonus for every skills multiplied by 2.16. Or it gives, it, sorry, Prowessy, the prowess bonus for every skills multiplied. And Prowessy lowers the efficiency needed to get multiple quantities per drop of resource. But you need to re realize that Prowessy caps at 2.0. You cannot get higher than 2.0 Prowessy. Early mid game, this is like A tier. Late game, this is F tier. But let's be honest, in the early game, and in early game, how many of you know are going to be able to get uh, times two? Times two, times three resources. <sighs> Do you get to two prowess with other sources without this? Very easily. Yes. Yes. Very, very easily. Very easily. 2.0 is not hard to get. You can pretty much get this with, like, leak alone. Early is S to push the higher ores, but it's, like, high C. Only prowess didn't have a cap. This would be S tier. One doesn't need to be equipped. Yeah. Just some place to check your prowess. Ask for a friend. This is the best one early on. You're not on World 4, this is A tier. I agree. I agree. For Prowessy, since it does cost toilet logs, which isn't too expensive, and you gotta realize that Prowessy caps at 2.0, at early game to mid game, this is solid A tier. But by the time you get into later game and early late game, this becomes more of like a really low C tier. So for that reason, I'll put it at the bottom of the pack, A tier. Yo, Chris, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep on that content. Better than Big P? Did you not hear what I said? Did you not hear what I said? I said early game, this is a high A tier. You want to prioritize this to try to hit 2.0 as quickly as possible. But late game, it becomes dog shit. Like a super, super low C. Why is only Smile is her, it's triggered by this tier? I'm still waiting for Smile to give me a reasoning why Big P should be higher. You don't think this is S tier in the early game? Early game? No. S tier, more mid game. 
I'm triggered since first bubble tier. But Prowse doesn't get worse later in the game, always gets better, right? It caps at 2.0. So, so you can only get to 2.0 and then that's it. You can't get any higher. And you can get it from other ways. This bubble does, does nothing once you unlock leak up one other way. There's only this and leak. Well, and star sign. Prow Prowess does need a rework. Yo, what's up, Hippo? Star signs, bro. You have this one, leak, and star sign. Yeah, true. Big P is too high. For what it does, I don't think it should be lower. I think P is in a perfectly fine spot. Perfectly fine spot. All right. Next one. We have chat. We have stamp tramp, which increases the max level of toilet paper postage, which is a star talent and increases the potency of your skilling stamps. And it will keep on leveling up and it's a linear, so it goes up by one per level. And you unlock this talent by typing more like Poopy Pete near Pete. And it also costs butterflies. This is a late game bubble chat. This is a, this is, this is a late game bubble. People don't have the star talents to spend on Stamp Tramp. They literally do not have the star talents to be able to use this. Got bananas, you don't really need to level this one super high. Talent scales horribly. 99%, keep it at level 1. B, also rely on heavy stamp investment. The favorite bubble, but it's A for the scaling page. They are, for sure are. This is not linear, by the way, scaling toper... It's not linear? I have level 200 and the max talent go up by 200. How's that not linear? Alright, let's go to the wiki. Bubble is linear. Star talent in it. That's what I said. That's what I said. Yeah, I know. I know. I know the talent isn't linear. We we know this. Why would I? Why would I say the stamp is a linear a linear upgrade? Why? I didn't say that. I said the, I said the bubble's linear. So what the what the fuck are we talking about? G post office gives also prowess for skill effects. Perfect, Medine. Thank you. Saying it's not linear because this does nothing without leveling the talent, so you have to consider both. A lot of star talents to spend on this if you're scaling presets because there aren't many star talents. Yeah, this is... I'm going to be honest with you. Early game, F tier. Early game, it's F tier. Late game, A tier. A tier late game. It's an easy one to level. Have you ever tried to level up butterflies fucking mid-game, dude? <sighs> Garbage. By the way, there's no star talent skilling. You don't have star talent points, and you'd rather no bubble left by and hit other bubbles. So here's what I say. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'll say. So at the point in time where we're basing these star- where we're basing this tier list off of, as we're going for a general prioritizing. Toilet paper stamp is a scaling stamp that doesn't actually scale that high. Not to mention, it also requires an insane amount of investments of star talent points. Which a lot of people do not have early to mid game. This is a later game bubble, so for where we're basing it off of, and since we're basing it off of that, until you're in late game, keep this at level 1. I'd rather have no bubble left behind, hit other ones, than this one specifically.
And also, bananas also affect this as well. You're doing your own tier list wrong? You only get this bubble late game, though. You only get this bubble late game. What are you smoking? Okay, so please, please tell me. Who in mid, who in early to mid game has 150 star talent points to spend on posted stamp? Because, because last time I checked, okay, last time I checked, you have like three to 400 star talent points that already are spoken for. Absolutely fucking not. So let's just, okay, let's just do a quick look here, shall we? I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait. Here, let me take a look, quick look here. So we go over to Eilon. Let's take a look at Star Talents here. So, you have Will of the Eldest that's already taken for, TikTok that's already taken for. Not to mention, we have Frothy Milk that's already taken for. You're probably doing prints on your sampling, so printer sampling's only already taken for. You have Super Source that's taken for. You have Action Frenzy that's taken for. What are we fucking talking about here? What are we talking about here? You do not have this many star talent points to invest into stamp postage. Like, what are we saying? And that's what it's based off. It's a priority standpoint. It's a priority standpoint. Were you not? I said you can level this once you're late game. Once you're late game, then you could put points into it. But you're not putting points into this until you're late game. And this is late game, not end game, okay? Late game. Even late game, this should only have a few levels. The scaling is so shit. To at least see, for at the point in time of where you need to level this, you keep it at level 1. Keep this shit at level 1. 100% keep this shit at level 1. Early game, keep that shit at level one. You want to have your skilling stamps high, so it won't even matter. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't scale into your stamps are super high anyways. So you don't keep... Yes, you keep it at level one. Yes, you do. You let no bubble left behind do something else. I'm gonna... I, I mean, I... Hey, it is what it is. Bananas is a meal that you can make that will give you the exact same thing. You definitely have a few dozen levels in here. And yeah, that's later game. That's later game. Because realistically, you're not going to get bananas until later game. And not to mention, chat, you've got to realize this. When you get TP Pete, it already has a high talent level. Like, what are you talking about? This just helps increase the potency of it. It already has a base value for the fucking levels. So why are you leveling this up if you can't even max it? Are you sure it starts at level one? All right, let's go to the wiki. Is it level one? It's literally stamp trap list, but it determines the level. My bowl is at level one. It starts level one. My bubble is level 15. I have 50 level possible in the talent. It's level one. I still don't think this is worth it. I would argue that Super Source, Action Frenzy, all of those are way more of a priority. Changes that much, you level it later, so it can't, can't be an F tier. It's not worth it. Only way to raise max level toilet, otherwise level 1, nothing higher. You don't keep it at level 1. Low C? Has to be C? <sighs> Fine. Fine. They have- they- 
They have... It's the fucking bottom of the barrel. It's the fucking bottom of the barrel. But I'm still stay I'm still sticking at my point here. Let me just redo it for fucking meta here. So, Stamp Tramp, let's make this perfectly clear. Early game, it is F tier. You do not want to put points into this because you are prioritizing other things such as Action Frenzy, Super Source, Frothy Milk. You need a high level stamps to even make this multiplier work in your favor. And it doesn't really shine until you hit multi-tool stamp. But it becomes decently strong late game. So it is the very bottom of the pack C tier until you're far enough at a point, not to mention Bunch of Bananas also gives this same talent point increase as well. You do not have the talent points to spend early game. Don't even worry about this. If you keep it at level one, that's fine until you get into late game, but you will eventually level up this, eventually level up this bubble. Are we happy? Are we happy? Probably better. No, shut up, pickle. We're done. You, you, we gave you a little bit more. I gave you, I gave you an inch. I'm not giving you a mile. Next one. Let's get this over and done with here. All right, we have undeveloped costs. Now this reduces the material cost of all alchemy bubbles by percentage. And this does also require jellyfish. What do we think about this one? It's good early. It, it is good early. I think it's low B. I think it's low B. But at the same time, we're done. We, at the same time, it's either it's either. But it, it should be it should be realistically next to Bargain Tech. If we're if we're gonna talk about it, it should realistically be right next to Bargain Tech, because Bargain Tech pretty much does the same fucking thing. This is true. This is all bubbles. This is all bubbles. No, nah, if you're thinking about atom of bubbles and you can barely get enough jellyfish for it, nah, nah, dude. No. Nah. Yeah, it's all bubbles. It's not better than COGS. It's not super cheap, though. Scale's worse than the other ones. Better than Bargain. It is better than Bargain. I can agree. It's better than Bargain. Very few levels early game. All right. That's fine. I, 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 can, I, can, I can agree that, that if anything, it's either low B or right behind level up gift. I'm okay with either one of those. Usually if you have a uh, booba at that point, it's probably like dedicated ramps or uh, bot boxes or cans in World 4. Unless you have a high 3D print fish farming mats is bitch. It's all bubbles. So because it costs jellyfish and it's it's one of the better bubbles for discounts when it becomes earlier to mid game, but when it comes late game, it has the same problem as all the other bargain tags. You're gonna want to end up getting as quickly as atoms as possible. So it's decent early game. 
decent mid game, kind of garbage late game. So I'll give it bottom of the pack B tier. You want to level this up about 50 times, and then you're basically just going to leave it for the rest of the time afterwards. We're moving on. A level up gift get top of C. We're moving on. All right. The daily drip increases the max cap for every liquid by a normal plus. And this bonus increases based on combined alchemy level of all your characters. Pretty good bubble chap. But it does cost leather. It's really good, but it's hard to prioritize. It's super, super good, but it's it's not going to be useful for most of the early game players. Early to mid game, they can't even level this. Leather is rough. I, I would say, if anything, me personally, I would say... Hmm. Their anvil production's garbage. I would say this is just above the bubbles. It doesn't get multiplied. I think it's low B. Low B. I would say it's right below cogs. Right behind cogs. Right behind cogs. before after stuff like bleach cauldrons viaduct no so the daily drip you do want to have max liquid for your cauldrons it's very very strong but unfortunately it is really expensive with the leather if it wasn't leather and early to mid game this would be more of a high high a tier but because it only does cost leather and it does doesn't start getting potent Till later in the game, I put it in B tier. Just above. Just above the other one. You still want liquid cap. Because you gotta realize people people don't act of this game, right? Daily drop C tier, XP low B tier, tier list is done. Bro, you think grind- Whoa, 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 whoa. You think grind time is fucking B tier? No, no, it, people that don't active and the- Chat, you gotta realize, normal player base doesn't come back for weeks, okay? Or don't even act like they all actively play, alright? We all active? No, that's that's a base take. And the last one we have, chat, is the big bubble. And the last one we have, chat, is the big bubble known as grind time, which requires both liquids to level it up, so it's only liquids, no materials, and it gives you XP percent. This is how you get to, like, times 40, times 70 XP multiplier. This is one of the biggest bubbles in the game, chat. This is literally one of the best bubbles in existence. Even in mid-game, it is still a solid bubble. It's pretty much good at all stages except for early game. Is this a bubble that you should prioritize? Apps are frickin' lootly. Apps are frickin' lootly. I think it's better than Larry, honestly. I don't. Because if you want to get grind time to a high level, you need Larry. You need Larry. Considering Adams is a super late game, it's not for the 99%, you can't add him at all. 
It's by the highest level and it has its own leaderboard. Hi, Larry, because plus two is better. I think this is above Diamond Chef, though. Mm. That's a hard one. I think there's... I don't know. I, it's, it's Esther. It's guaranteed Esther. We, we, we all know, we all know this is Esther, okay? Let's, let's not even, let's not even, let's not even beat around the bush here. The only question that we have to, the only question that we have is A, if it's above Diamond Chef, B, below Diamond Chef. You don't even need that. No, you really don't even need that juice of a boobo. Like to get like 10k, yeah, for sure. But to like get like 200, no. Diamond Chef is nuts, but it has a cap, and grind time does not. I think it goes above. Grind time's easier to level. I think we're all in agreements here. Without grind time, you can't progress cooking without Diamond Chef. I, I, no, I think it's above. Overall, it'll just scale better. What gives more benefit? 200 grind time is only a 67 XP boost, which is massive. 67% XP boost at any point in time is huge. What are you talking about? If, it was, if there were sheep, you would be above everything else. And free levels. Free levels means more talent points. What's more... Okay, so what's more important? Cooking or talent points? Being able to use higher armor. Being able to use higher weapons. Higher pendants. Emperor opals. Being able to get tenacity, point, tenacity rings. Being able to run the divinity. The divine trophy. The divine... This means more obel slots, talent points, be able to use divine scarf, divine title in game. It's strong. Obel slots, grind time is basically free. Levels increase XP, easily second but level behind Larry. Can't grind those levels. You can't get. You can't really grind cooking without diamond. True. More talent points, more star talent points. Ninety nine percent is nowhere near getting divine. Yeah, but even even at a low level, getting XP is still mid game. They're gonna have this at like level one hundred to two hundred, which is still a lot of XP. Because if you, if you run grind time with XP cards that realistically don't get that very high, you're going to be juiced out. So early game, what does it do for you at low levels is offset Royal Sampler. That is very true. It does offset. You're telling me when you hit World 5, when you're realistically... Without talent points, you can't get more ladles, you can't progress cooking anyways. This is talent points. I feel like, if anything, talent points are really, really freaking important. Talent points will get you farther in the game than cooking will, that's for damn sure. And chat, you need family levels to unlock character slots. So. Because grind time... Is one of the cheapest bubbles in the game to level up, and it also gives Bubo a reason to hyper farm it. Mid game, it's pretty still damn good. You get up to 200, it's about 67%. That unlocks family levels for more characters. Not to mention, if you stack this with a couple of cards, this makes it possible to get equipment. Not to mention, also get more talent points. So, for this reason, it is basically tied with Diamond Chef, but because it can always scale higher, it will become better over time. So top of the pack, S tier. Now, before we finish off here, before we finish off chat, we need to talk about Big P. We need to talk about Big P.
Lower it to mid B. Buy where it is. You baiting. Say big P is good where it is right now. I would say so for where we're at. So chat, you know what? You know what I almost think we should do? You know what I think we should do? We should do the next tier list again. We should do all the tier lists again. But we should put it as a end game. Or hard late game with all companions. So people can see the difference. We will include everything. Well, I mean, dude doesn't really matter all that much. We gonna count do or not, though. List for the point one percent. Companions are not even late, late game, just pay to win. Yeah, but we add companions as well. And then we'll call it, we'll call it the pay to win tier list. It'll be, it'll be pay to win tier list. If it's endgame, you have dupe. Yeah. So maybe, maybe we'll do that next. Because I think, I think we can all, realistically, we can all become in agreements with the, with the late game tier list. We all know what the late game tier list is. In with 20 levels, 25% multi-kill per tier. Multi-kill per tier is just at every monster farming activity. Prince of Green, Sex, g Death Note Farming, Chows, and so on. Yes, but a smashy mid-game, you don't hit that high of multi-kill. You're not hitting times 6, times 8. You're hitting times 2 at most. Okay? That's what you gotta realize. 50% is not even an extra kill. Alright? It's really, really, it's, it's, it's an auto-equip late game, but as the point we are right now, it's not there. Should we be doing four tier lists again, or all tier lists in one? I don't know, probably four tier lists again. Probably. Somewhere around there. What about World 1 Death Note? Yeah, that's barely. Multi-kill is so count power? Yeah, but V-Man is late game. Or, or later game. Excited for those World 6 bubbles? No bubble will beat Hammer Hammer. There's probably a lot of them that will be S tier. I forgot I'm much higher now. All right. No all cauldrons together. That'd be too long of a tier list. That'd be like that'd be like a twenty minute video. And then when I when I make the new when I make the new tier list, I'll be like the previous tier list or for priority. This is for like end game type shit. Grind time is top S tier. I mean, it'll be top S tier once you get hit late game. Battle between S tiers from all colors. True. We should do a collab on the tier list? Fuck no. We'll play like- we'll play like a game or something. I ain't- I ain't fucking doing a tier list with Pickle. Jesus Christ. I'd be- I- bro, my purple hair would turn gray by that point. Are you kidding me? Griffey X at- Ice Locked? Is Ice Locked even endgame? Save way, Blake, man. Actual stress incident. Finally done work. Glad I could lurk, though. Hell yeah, dude. X-Pixel rap battle. No fucking idea, to be honest. Yeah, I thought he wasn't quite endgame yet. GX. I mean, I would, I, I would arguably, and maybe I should message Heat. Maybe I, maybe, maybe, maybe I should message Heat. I'm not dissing Ice. I'm just stating a fact that I don't think he's in, I don't think he's in endgame. Do you do it for smile? Take all S-tier bubbles and see what they are? I mean, I could talk to Heat and be like, Hey man, do you want to do a uh, collab with me? I'm doing endgame S-tiers. It's late game about endgame? Yeah, he's endgame since he does hourly clicks. How do you know you're a late game? Um, Most things are pretty much done. What do you consider endgame? Pretty much having everything done. 
Yes, you're the 1% if you have Divine Trophy. Well, I mean, in general, how do you know when you're late game? Bubble levels, how, fa how, how hard you're progressed into, like, alchemy and shit. How high your prints are. He is on late, though, because he works on weekends. Yeah, that's true. That is true. So we all in early game? No. one shot Nightmare. Y'all consider hourly clicks late game? If you, It depends. If you can do, like, the first bubbles, not really. If you can do, like... If we're talking, like, if you can hourly click, like, we're talking, like... You can hourly click, like, shit like Cooking Roadkill or fucking, for instance, Call Me Ash. It's pretty late game, dude. The fact that you're getting 1 billion Tundra Logs per hour is kind of insane. No games in early access. Hourly click Larry. Yeah, I mean, there's only a few people that could ever hourly click Larry, and I'm not one of them. Definitely not one of them. Can message Zelb? I don't know if you would. What are your prints for hourly clicks? So I have Swift Steppin, Hammer Hammer, Call Me Ash. I have Stable Genius, Name I Guess, Cooking Roadkill. Roid Raging, and Hardy Diggy. So I have eight bubbles that I hourly click. No voters checking in. Been waiting too long. One of these days, dude. One of these days when Pickles was playing, playing Hearthstone, dude. Uh, 1.27. Pickle. Hourly click is late game. I've been Caldecrook by like four atoms unlocked. Yeah, I pretty, much, I pretty much, for the most part, have everything, uh, most of my atoms pretty much maxed. And my cooking is insane. My cooking is nasty right now. Not to mention, I've also done all the bullshit Super Chows. Need to play it more? There's just so much shit to do? Good problem to have, yeah, for sure. How close are we? Oh, and, you know, cards. Cards are getting out of control as well. You know, that's also, uh, also a good indicator. Like, like, chat, who, who here has bosses and nightmares maxed? You know what I mean? Like, this is kind of, like, just overall count progression, you can usually tell who's in, who's in the, like, the later game sort of standpoint. Being an early game in Eilon is just starting One Piece is the same problem as the content still left? Exactly. Exactly. Big true. Our accounts are the same, though? For sure. 100%. Totally agree. That's why we're doing a collab soon. And by soon, I mean probably another eight months. What would you consider mid-game? You finish World 5. Or, yeah, I would say, I would say you about, uh, uh, <sighs> We had this discussion before. What would we say would be considered mid-game? Be a fun idea, though. Bring, like, each person to the tier list. The viewers will respect me since I won the trivia. Beating Kruk. Kill Kruk. I, I would say normal Kruk would be mid-game. Nightmare would be a little bit different. Be being able to kill normal Kruk. Mid-game is probably killing Kruk, yeah. Like, two, two to five K grind time. I haven't killed normal chaotic Kruk. World 6 will be. What is late game, then? Uh, late game's like having fucking Nightmare Kruk on farm. And being able to, like, most of your characters are, like, level 350, close to 400, with your main being able to equip the Divine Trophy. Killing Nightmare Crook would be the start of late game? Yeah, I would say pretty close, yeah. Probably sheet damage. I wouldn't really base it off sheet damage, because it all depends on what build you're running, right? Which it really comes down to is your... I mean, the World 5 boss merit max is late game, in my opinion. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty solid indicator. If you have all boss armor unlocked, yeah, I, I would I would say I would I would consider that late a late game. One shotting night no dude no if, dude even the end game players can't one shot cattle crook dude are you kidding? That's crazy talk. That's like that's like Giga Chad type shit. I would like I would like to see a V man being able to one shot cattle. I would be thoroughly amazed. There's a big difference between killing Nightmare Crook and killing Nightmare Crook. 
you know, there's even a bigger difference than killing Cattle Crook on V-Man and killing Cattle Crook on V-Man with Max Curse of Looting. Anyone just gave me one shot Nightmare Cattle Crook with ES, let alone V-Man. I mean, I can, but I mean, that's that's besides the point. Might have to thank you, Mr. G. You've gone up 100k to 60 mil cooking speed in the last month. You're welcome, dude. You're welcome, my guy. Oh, and by the way, that's one-shotting with drop rate build. Just thought I'd mention that. That's a, that's a, that's a pretty, pretty significant difference. But I mean, realistically, the, the, what's considered late game and end game is going to all change when World 6 comes out, realistically. But it's, a, it's just a nice threshold to see where you're at, personally. There's only a few who can. Yeah, which is big true. Big true. Because they, because they haven't focused on their talent points yet. If you focus on your talent points and have max lightning barrage, then you should be, you should be, you should be at a really solid standpoint. But I mean, realistically, at the end of the day, though, do we really care? Do we really care who's end game, who's late game? It's all the same in the end. Because this, this, game, this game is such an obscure way of dictating where you're at in the game that it's, it's so hard to comprehend where you actually are because there's so many different mechanics and variables to decide where you are in the game. So let's just say we're all part of the 99%. Let's just all say that we're 99% chat and we feel good about it. Nobody's 1%. Nobody's 0.1%. We're all in the same, right, chat? You and I are the same. I mean, at least, at least in Pickle's eyes. That's why we should decide rank with pet battles. I progress every day. I'm happy with it. Naji, you filthy. Don't come back into my 99% territory. Bro, let me, let me do me, dude. Got 34 on my act account on my first attempt. Hell yeah, dude. We're all 99%. Yep. Yeah, no. What? Come on. Where's the agreements on this one? What do you mean? This is BS, dude. How's fa card farm going? It's actually going pretty good. We're currently on soda cans right now. And we're almost, we're almost actually done. Uh, we went all the way, this took me about two days to get copper, iron, gold, oak tree, birch tree, jungle tree, forest tree, and then today I got goldfish, hermit can, jellyfish, and now we're working on flies and butterflies. So we're almost done with the easy resources, and then we're moving on our way to me medium resources. Do you have you ascended? Ascended in how? Resource 5 star, taking forever. Yeah, that's why you want to just run full drop rate. But I would say, chat, I'm going to be... How close to furnace? Not close, I'm just going to rubyfy it. But here, 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 here... Yeah, I'm going to cardify it. Here's what I would say, though, chat. For how, how unhinged the yellow bubble cauldron was, actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I, 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 it, was, it was much more civil than I thought. I thought it would be way worse, personally. Wait, gaming time and gaming garden time? You wanted more? No, I, expe I, I expected more. Thanks, confirmed. I expected more. They were going to end after the end of the tier list, but I'm happy you're still alive. I still got a little bit. We don't have mods or Rico. It'd be... It would have been super ch civil, dude. Yeah, I like how the I like how the most controversy was fucking smile and pickle, dude. I mean, there, uh, yeah. I mean, there was a little bit of other people that were like, "Nah, man, I think you're wrong." But at the same time, I mean, it's it's a tier list that's based off of more or less what I think would be an ideal to prioritize with the with the potential chance of chat to change my mind. You know, that's what it's always been, right? Even with the rest of the tier lists. But we, but the thing is with the yellow, the yellow cauldron, I knew yellow cauldron was going to be the most controversial just for the sole fact that it's, it's, it's such obscure bonuses. Like, you know, for instance, like, uh, the, 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 the statue XP one, you know, the, the, um, the prowessy bubble, right? It's like a lot of the yellow bubbles are good, like early game or mid game, but kind of dog shit late game or they're dog shit early mid game and great late game. Sam Trap was the most controversial. I kind of figured that was about. 
I beat Ephont without breaking all his arms. Normal, chaotic, or nightmare? Judge my opinions, good or bad? I mean, they're fine. I mean, that's the thing. That's the thing. There's, there's no bad or good opinion within a tier list because we were doing it together. And yeah, a lot of yellow bubbles are a lot of hit or misses. Should I add him the luck bubble for V-Man? I mean, you can if you want, but i uh, could to be honest with you. The only time that I would bubble the lotto skills is if you're trying to save up atoms. Like, like if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're at this point in time where you're, tr where you're not trying to hard farm because you just don't have enough atoms yet to daily press it, and you just need to save up a reservoir, then you level up stuff like lotto skills or dropping loads or any of the cheaper bubbles first, and then make your way onto that. Real tier list was the friends we made along the ways. Are we sure we just didn't make enemies? I feel like we just made enemies, Jed. I don't know about you guys. Oh, by the way, I don't know what's happening, but I'm still freezing. I'm still freezing overnight. And I and I don't have I don't have meteors on. I don't have I don't have I don't have I don't have any of that. Yet I'm still freezing overnight. Do I need to change servers when I go to bed? Is that the reason? I've, ne I've never froze Bubo. Bubo never freezes me. It's only Elemental Sorcerer that I've ever froze. Everything else is perfectly fine. Yeah, this is what I was saying the other day. This is why I'm d I don't run Meteor. I don't run Meteor. I, d I don't run anything that has a potential chance. Probably would help. I have a fix the game, dude. Um, is it like, is it chain bolt? There are too many sprites on the screen. It'll crash you. Yes, or divine night on pop two. I'll freeze because of companions. Well, I don't run companions either. Sure, freezing after leveling up floor is lava. You think it's floor is lava has a problem with it? Delete all skills and mass respawn in total. Is it possibly, could it be because you, because at the very beginning of the portal, you nuke it down so fast that it just keeps on, like, cr making a crazy amount of mob uh, entities? Is that, is that what it could possibly be? Ton of portal mobs at once? I'm going to try it with no floor is lava and see what's happened, because honestly, realistically, let's be honest here, the only thing that you really need is the auto attack. Game was starting at the start of the portal with lightning. Could be maybe reduce portal duration. No, I'm keeping portal duration. Nuke the first few instances, just test by removing them one at a time. Yeah, I guess so. High number of mobs and insane drops coming out at once, but I have, I have the base materials not showing up. I have them filtered. Dude, it totally is the portal. It is the fucking portal. Yeah, it's the portal. They're just being suppressed, yeah. Regardless, no floor is lava still because of chaotic force. Yeah, I just I just want to make it less. Is it bro? I think bro, is it the multiple tornadoes with the lightning barrage plus the floor's lava is just causing too much entities on the screen, which is causing the freeze? But the problem is, is elemental sorcerer is too strong for cards. ES is literally the bet one of the best card farmers. Too much damage, dude. I mean, it is a lot of. To be fair, that is a lot of damage numbers. That's 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 a crazy amount of damage. Oh yeah, dude, look at all the damage numbers from tornado. I wonder. I wonder if it's tornado. Because they have such a high health pool. Probably tornado. Most of the time I see three when I'm frozen. That's true. The cards are great. I think it would be if you get lucky enough. Well, what's my what's my chaotic force chance? My chaotic force chance is 55%. 
have a 55% chance to cause either fireball, tornado, or volcano. That's a lot. That's a super high chance. Like, even just, just even, like, look at my volcanoes. TD doesn't change damage numbers. Feels like it's specific to implementation. Maybe we just need to take off... Take off Chaotic Force. It might be Chaotic Force, man. I wonder, but that's... You lose a lot of DPS if you take off Chaotic Force. Like, you lose kill per hours. I got my yes to purple numbers with Lightning Barrage Meteors. Nice, dude. Chaotic Force products were Tornadoes and plus the portal spawns a lot. Not an act of skill, though. Even watching you now, it's sticking every now and then. Well, I mean, it's like that with Bubo, but I think the problem is, is like, with Bubo, it's consistently lagging instead of just having lag spikes, you know what I mean? Because with Bubo, it's just always at like 30 frames per second, but with, with ES, it spikes from 60 down to 10, down to 60, down to 10. Did fully take off Chaotic Force? Never frozen Bubo? I've never frozen Bubo either. I freeze all the time on Elemental Sorcerer, though. It could just be Portal this whole entire time. Could switch to DK, but then I'm losing a ton. I'm losing a tons of cards per hour. That's something you fix yourself, I don't think? No, I don't think so. ES just, ES just gets an insane amount of cards. Like it's, like, it's not even comparable to the difference in card farming for ES comparative to, uh... To, um, DK. Force up as much. I'll, I'll try changing servers tomorrow, or tonight, and I'll have Magma off and see if I freeze. But Portal, without Portal, it's not worth being on ES in the first place. Second best for cards is Bubo, in my honest opinion. Just because of the multiple kills per hour. I really, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really don't think it is. Because, because the thing is, is you get, like, a disgusting amount of drop rate. Like, a, a, like an ad, absurd amount of drop rate. Because what is it? What do we have here? We have... What is this? Give XP and drop per wormhole kill and spawn more, dude. Like, like this is, this is like, 14% per, more drop per wormhole kill. Like, that's, an, that's like, a disgusting amount of drop rate. My crystal chance is 170, under 175 damage, now 1 mil consistency. Nice, Tawaki. You're getting there, dude. No, thank you for the follow, Tawaki. Oh, and Holes Dolphin, thank you for the follow, too, man. And it said second best, so comparing... Oh, second card. Oh, second best for cards. I mean, like, after ES, Bubo is best, so I'd go for Bubo active. You can't use Portal on ES. Yeah. Yeah, I could probably agree on that. I could... I could... I could... I can 100% believe that. Believer strength. Sorry. 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 I'll make sure to have that. So, all right. That's uh well well I'm sure I'm sure if it if it lags again, I'll just run Bubo. It's not a big deal if I have to card farm on Bubo. I don't care that much. It's not that big of a deal. Uh circles it's the O's theme song. But I would say all around chat, I would say it has been a good stream today. What'd you guys think? We even, we built a chair today. Built a chair and did a tier list. It's fine till snooze content. Great chair. Can, uh, I mean, I'm just never, I'm just never going to ask Ken's opinion ever. I love the chair part. Hell yeah, dude. Good stream? Fuck yeah. Pog stream? So nothing changed? Yeah, basically nothing's changed. Good chair stream? I kind of liked it, to be honest. I kind of liked building its chair on stream. I, th I kind of, you know, flipping the Crocs into sport mode. It was all a good time. It was all a good time. Does that count as a charity stream? You were feeling yourself, dude? Chair content was great. Wait, what? Did, what how does that count as a charity stream? Just chatting great. Brand is the chair. 
I don't know. I don't remember. Everything was great except the ankle socks, dude. Tube socks, I mean. I learned about backstage chaos, so that's a bonus. 8 out of 10 stream. Furniture building Fridays. Charity. Oh, I'm fucking dumb. Charity stream. I'm so dumb. The tier list fun for you? Yep. I mean, I want to. I definitely want to take a little bit of a break on them. Like, I'm. I'm. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm glad they're over. I'm. I'm a hundred percent glad they're over. But I mean, I had fun while doing them. Charity biddy stream. That was a terrible pun. I liked it, dude. I liked it. Tamps. No, I, I think uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of guides, and then I think we're gonna do a tier list again. So I think we're I think we're gonna do alchemy tier list, except we're doing it from a end game standpoint. End game standpoint, so you can see the difference between end game and progressing. Two forty five max talent level without ES and bear. What am I missing? If anything, could be a numb also. Slug. You're missing slug, Chris. So Diamond Chef becomes F tier? No, Diamond Chef's still like top of the pack A tier. Because Diamond Chef is still really strong. It's still a huge multiplier. I'm sure if you took it off, you'd actually lose a shit ton of uh, shit ton of cooking speed. Like a massive amount of cook speed. I'm pretty sure if someone had level one, easily. Easily, dude. Terrible puns are actually good puns, yeah, for sure. But chat, with that being said, it is that time. See you in the stream, chat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had fun. That was the chair building stream. Plus, with the last and final tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be working on the purple bubble tier list tonight. Get that going and maybe finish off Winter Rot in our OSRS. So hopefully that will be good, dude. But thank you for all the follows today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we, after we're done the tier list, we'll be working on a couple of guides, and then we'll probably be hopping back onto tier list, and we'll be doing end game bubbles. So I mean, that'll be always be good. That'll always be fun. See how sweaty we can truly be with the massive amounts of companions and all that stuff. So you can see, honestly, see how broken it is because we all know they're super broken. But like I said, thank you for all the follows. I think I hope you guys come again. Hope you guys hang out. Tomorrow we'll be back at it at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for some good time. Maybe we'll knock out some IE reviews. Make sure to check out the YouTubes. Subscribe to both of them if you can. Maybe sure to hit, watch the videos, hit some likes, hit some comments. You know, get that algorithm going. Burr, I'm being mucho, mucho appreciated. Like I said, we'll be back at it at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys want to catch us there, you'll know where we'll be there. Thank you for all the subs today as well. You guys keep it a genuine reality. Keep your brother off the streets. Keep the IBA rations very, very high. So we can make sure that everybody still stays on that massive amounts of copium. But with that being said, I've been your guild master for today. My name is Griffy Bit, proud owner and leader of this beautiful, dedicated, hard-working, somewhat civil, itty-bitty army. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope you bless all the RNG upon you. I hope you guys stay safe. Happy grinding. Peace out. Good night, chat. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye, chat. See you later. Bye.